Absolutely awesome week. And I mean that in every way, shape, or form possible to man. I really do, folks. Uh, I think it was Wednesday. I nearly died. Uh, I had a bit of a, a dodgy run in uh, with a boiled sweet. Uh, and honestly, folks, uh, I, about an hour and a half of not breathing. But anyway, one thing led to another. And, I met, and it managed to whoop, pop out uh, in one way, shape, or form. But anyway, I'm a, I live to tell the tale, as they say, folks. And in between everything else, I've been trying to do a little bit of vlogging as well. Um, so, yeah, how are you doing? I mean, as I said, it, it, it doesn't get any more, I wouldn't say any worse. But anyway, I'll tell you what, folks, it gives you a new perspective on life uh, when you think you're about to pop your clogs. And I can see on my screen <laughs> from doing the uh, the backlog with Cy the other day that I've still got my green screen on. I might leave it on for a few minutes. Look at this strange effect that's going on there uh, with my ATAT. -AT. How cool does that look? Uh, but anyway, folks, now I know why my wife never eats boiled sweets, because, well, she always used to say to me, she goes, oh, no, I don't like them. You can choke on them. Well, that happened to me this week, folks, literally about a minute before I was coming back from lunch. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was quite unpleasant, to say the least. Um, but like I say, folks, uh, I, I need to be on a bit of a diet anyway. Um, rhubarb and custard were going to be the alternative to eating chocolate. Um, I've got to find a different alternative there. Maybe I'll go for something a bit more, I don't know, fruity, like a banana. Who knows? Any tips for that, folks? Let me know down in the chat below and, of course, the comments. But anyway, this is number 69 of London Calling, and we are actually racing for it. Do you know what? It won't, it won't be too much longer, really. Can we do it this year? Can we actually get to 100 streams of London Calling this year? And I'll tell you what, folks, I think we've gone past it being a year, you know, a year of doing London Calling, but I will be doing a special one. And this one is a special one anyway, because it's awesome. And today is all about awesomeness. It really is, folks, and uh, all the lovely people out there. So who have we got out there in the wonderful chat land, the buoyant chat land that is, of course, you wonderful folk. Let's take a little look, shall we? Lego Madness is out there. Good to see you, dude. Lorraine Fox O'Connor. Good to see you as well, Lorraine. Hope you're well and good. Um, and hope no lag is as well. I know he's getting a bit better with his cheeks, but, you know, got to ride the punches these days. I hope he's doing good, though. Uh, hopefully we see him later as well. We've got Captain Zane. How are you doing, Captain Zane? Is it Zane or Zahn? I'm not quite sure. Let me know, though. Let me know. Uh, Mitty Bricks is out there. We've got John's Bricks. Uh, Jean Gurnet. That's a cool name. I like that. He said, evening all. Welcome to the weekend. Welcome to the weekend indeed, my friends. Great to have you here. We've got uh, Joel Have Stars Will Travel. Marbella. Good to see you, dude. And who we else we got out there? We've got Redmond Bricks. Good to see you, Redmond. And Minarch's out there. Minarch's already, already dedicated two pounds to getting on London Wolves. Thank you so much, my friend. I really do appreciate that. I will pop your name on there in just a tick. Lego Madness, thank you for the countdown as always. Uh, we got Titanium J52. He'll be in in a minute, except he's not 52 anymore. It's just Titanium J. That's how we do it. So we rock, we change, and roll with the times, my friends. We've got Tech Productions out there. Um, tech Production says, uh, I've got to be careful what you're saying here. Episode 69, I'm spinning upside down with excitement. It's one of those, it's one of those strange numbers, folks. It really is. We try not to go there. Um, Kevin's Kevin's given me, um, uh, we'll put it this way, folks, in the chat. We we're all just trying to get it out of our system. And we'll, we'll leave it at that, I think. Uh, Tech's probably rolling his eyes there, thinking about it. And, uh, yeah, Tech, enough of those emojis. Thank you very much. Uh, my God, can you imagine when Brixish uh, gets in here? Uh, delicious foods. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. 
Thank goodness it's Friday indeed. Thank you so much, Delicious Foods. Uh, you guys are awesome, I tell you. We've got two gay a -foles out there. Whee, how you doing, boys? Welcome to London Calling. We've got Bricky T.Y. out there as well. Great to see you. A Brixish. Like a puff of smoke has just arrived as well. Great to see you, Brixish. Anyway, let's get some peeps on, shall we? Let's go over to... Oh, let's pop over the pond and pop up to Canada. I think we will. Now, this guy... Uh, isn't he, he normally speaking, folks? He normally uh, dwells with someone else, but she's not going to be here today, folks. Uh, he's, he's all on his own. It's just him, himself, and his long hair. And what hair it is? I think he's got. I think he's got the longest hair in the Lego community, and that in itself is worth celebrating, as far as I'm concerned, folks. Uh, today is all about being awesome. It's as simple as that. It is, of course, my good friend, the man who never really is boring at all. Take it from me, folks. It is, of course, Kevin from I'm Bored Toys. Hello, mate. Hello. Welcome Hi. to my <laughs> room, which is much quieter than usual. It's so quiet. I I'm normally getting... Because Brenda's not here. Ah! This is true. This is true. You look, you look really chilled out, actually. Well, it's because it's a nice day. It's Friday. It's a long weekend in Canada. Um, do you guys have long weekend there too? We do. We've got one coming up next weekend, funny enough. Oh, nice. <laughs> we yeah, we've got Monday off work. from work, and um, yeah, it's a nice day. It's really hot here today, so. Hey, Peter. Oh, but it's really cold here, folks. My cabin nice. is coming along very well, folks. The next vlog, week one vlog, will be out next week. It's coming along very well, but the weather here is, how can I describe it? Blooming awful. It really is. <laughs> Kevin, nice. my good friend, Kevin. It's so yes. wonderful. He's actually going to build something tonight. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what it is he's going to be doing. We'll ask him them those very pertinent questions in just a moment. Kevin, where would you like to go? Would you like to pop south to America? Or would you like to cross over the pond to England? Or maybe, or maybe even Ireland? Where would you like to go, my friend? Uh, let's go down to um, Canada's underpants, uh, the United States of America. Hey, here we go. The uh, the jockstrap of, uh, of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Kev, not me. Americans uh, always like to call Canada um, America's hat. And so uh, <laughs> we always have the punch back. And, and I tell you what, folks, you don't get a better hat than that, do you? Look at that. It says, Indian. I'm bored. The man with a hat. I tell you what, your camera is really good as well, by the way. We're going to have to talk about that a little bit later. Sure um, we've got Tricky Bricks coming on later, folks, to show off the awesome Lego set. Everyone is awesome. Because everyone is awesome. Let's face it, folks. Uh, two gay guys said, yeah, London is awful. It blew it is, honestly, folks. The weather at the moment is terrible. It's windy. It's with hailstones. We've had rain nonstop. It's been terrible for quiff hairstyles. I tell you, terrible. Uh, but anyway, enough about me. Let's go to the underpants of Canada. Deep bit delving into the midst of the jungle that is, of course, Ninjago. But then I was watching him on a stream the other night, folks, and what he didn't pull out that, that, that was not a Star Wars set, I don't know. But anyway, let's bring him on. Yeah, he had been on for a little while because he's been getting all educated at college and university. He is as well our good friend, of course, Titanium J. Hello, everybody. Hey, Titanium, you are a beautiful man. You really are. We've missed you. <laughs> we really have. Yeah. Good to be um, back. You are looking awesome, my friend. Now, Titanium J50. Uh, I, I, I keep meaning to, I keep meaning to say the 52, but I'm going da, 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 like that. I'm getting better at remembering it. I really am. Where would you like to go, my friend? We've got Blighty. We've got the United States of America. Or we've got Ireland. Where would you like to go, my good friend? Let's go to Ireland. Let's get to go to Ireland. Okay, we're going to go over to Ireland now, folks. Uh, sorry, that's a terrible Irish accent. My family come from Ireland, folks. I cannot speak Irish to save my life. I really can't. And uh, my next friend will actually agree with me uh, that I don't even sound Irish. He's my good friend. I've been streaming with him since Wednesday. Um, in fact, I think it's probably about three weeks ago since he shaved. Um, but let's bring him on, shall we? He's my good friend. Uh, he's He's got a heart of gold. He really has, folks. It is, of course, Cy O'Connor. Hello, I've got a pot of gold I have, and I know I haven't shaved for a few days. I was going to shave today, and I couldn't have been bothered. And your accent sounded like you were from Cornwall. <laughs> 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 it was terrible. I thought, I'm going to get on my land. I was like, oh, God, that's a terrible it sounded, accent. It sounded like Wurzel Gummidge. I know, I know, terribly. And the one thing I will say, folks, is there's one thing I know about Cy O'Connor. He's a little corker. He really is. <laughs> anyway, 
Sorry, you... where would you like to go? Would you like to go to England? Or would you like to go uh, to a, 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 well, anywhere sunnier than England at the moment? Or would you like to go to the United States of America? This time, I think we'll go to the United States of America. Oh, yeah. we're going to say United Kingdom then. <laughs> ah, all right, let's bring him on, folks. Um, what can I say about this guy? This guy is um, he's another guy. He's got a, he's not only got a heart of gold, folks. Uh, he's himself a gem of a person. It's probably the nicest thing I've ever said about anyone in the universe. It really is, folks. He, I wouldn't even say that to my wife. Uh, and she'd probably agree. But let's bring him on, shall we? He's, of course, uh, the man who can. He's not that tricky, honestly, folks. He really isn't. It's Flynn, our good friend, Tricky Bricks. Hey. Hey. How are you? I am loving those glasses. Good to see you. Oh, thanks. Well, yeah, they're my regulars. I got to say, they're getting very difficult to see out of. It may be time for new ones. <laughs> Oh, well, they, 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 they suit you down to the ground. They really well, do. thank you. Friend. Thanks. So, <laughs> Mr. Flynn, it's been a fabulous day. I really enjoyed watching your stream as well. It was excellent. Yeah. Thank I was you. sitting there. I was eating me dinner. Eating me, uh, I had egg and chips tonight, folks. It was lovely. Um, <laughs> something nice and simple. Um, we're going we're gonna to go. We, we, I, I haven't got anyone else in the green room other than my good friend, who's actually painting today, folks. He's painting. <laughs> Uh, now, I need to get very soon, uh, in the next few weeks or so, a painter and decorator in uh, to uh, paint the cabin that I'm having built in the garden. Maybe if I ask this person very nicely, he'll come round as well. He might also uh, give me the big heave and say no. But anyway, let's try, let's try our luck, shall we? He's, of course, Matt the Elder, a.k.a. Family Bricks. <laughs> G'day, everyone. How are we going? Hello. 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 Look at, there he is. There he is. He's beautiful. <laughs> He's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Here, How are you doing, Matt? Yeah, good, good, good. How, how's everybody else going? Awesome. Doing great. We're awesome. Yeah, we, we're going to play awesome bingo tonight, folks. We're going to have to say it at least 100 times before the stream's over. <laughs> no, That's an awesome really idea. Could, I mean, what you really could say is everyone is awesome. Hey. Here right now. And you'd be right because everyone is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I tell you what, folks, it's probably what a, what a, a good segue into uh, in, into talking about it. So one of uh, very pertinent. <laughs> it's a good cue. Thank you for that, Flynn. I can I can tell you work in theatre. Stage left, quick now. Um, <laughs> so, so so yeah, let's talk about this awesome set. <laughs> I can't I can't stop saying the word now, um, and. What, what do we what, what do we think of it? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go around the panel, and then we're gonna take a little butchers at this wonderful oh, thing. Oh yes, isn't it awesome? Yes, yes. Yeah, oh, it's so yeah. cool. I just also uh, I know Flynn will probably talk about it, but it's great that it's also to Flynn's first land set. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Yeah, it's true. How is it? Yeah, my first, my first set for review from Lego, and it was this one, and it couldn't have been the more perfect model, <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> wow, well, that's pretty cool. Um, I really like it. So can, can you did, sh show us around it, actually, Flynn? Show us, show us around the box. Oh, sure, sure. Um, here, let me get that up here for you. So uh, this is the front of the box. It is, um, it is labeled as an 18-plus set. It Big screen, is right? um, there are 346 pieces, Great. and Big screen. it's going to be available, I believe, for $34.99. Um, and I'm trying to, sorry, I've got it tilted so that I don't, uh, so it doesn't reflect too much on the lights. But yeah, so there's that, um, and it's got the great Everyone is Awesome logo and like disco rainbow letters. Um, there is the back where you can see how it's lined up. So the character or the minifigs are all sort of at a diagonal, like one slightly in front of the other one. Mm -hmm. um, really great. And then I love, I actually love this little graphic here on the side oh, of the box. Nice. It's really fun. Yeah, that's fun. Cool. Right. Congo. A con Congo yeah, is that Congo line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just, um, <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's perfect. It's just perfect. It's great. And, you know, we got it early and uh, put it together. And I will say, like, as far as 
like if you're looking for like an, a creator expert level of challenging build, this is probably you're not going to find that here. But what you are going to find is a really beautiful like display piece, like art piece yeah. in really great color and great and meaningful colors with a really meaningful message, which I think is, you know, the most um, important important part of it personally. i'm curious about the instructions and if they put any text and kind of message inside of it um, um like they you know how they get background info these days especially in those yeah actually we've got a um so inside there is a picture of matthew ashton who is mm -hmm. the vp of design at lego yeah and he is the one who created this set and he um had designed it as a um like a thing for his own office at Lego. He was moving offices and wanted something in, in, and he created the, this for his office. And then all a ton of uh, employees at Lego, including the, the large number of LGBTQ plus um, employees at Lego were like, Oh, this is so amazing. You should really like make a set out of it. Please produce a set. And they've been working on this for a while because Matthew actually teased this on our show almost a year ago, maybe even more than a year ago. Um, wow. And it does have um, a little message. Do you, um, shall I read it? Is that all right? Yeah. 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 It's, not, it's cool. It's, it's, yeah. So um, he says, so this is for a quote from, from Matthew. I wanted to create a model that is a symbol of inclusivity that celebrates everyone, no matter how they identify or who they love. Everyone is unique. And with a little more love, acceptance and understanding in the world, we can all feel free to be our true awesome selves. This model is to show that we care and that we truly believe everyone is awesome. Nope. Of and a celebration of you. Oh, cool. Which I think is, is lovely. And then there's actually, um, under that, there is a quote from Lego that says, at the Lego group, we recognize and celebrate the diversity of the world we live in. We believe everyone should be able to express themselves and that Lego bricks are the perfect creative tool to let everybody do exactly that. Fostering inclusivity enriches each and every one of us and helps us to inspire the creators and problem solvers of tomorrow. So That's great. A lovely, a lovely sentiment. And there, are, um, I was saying like, just, we were just talking about this. I did a little review of it on our show right before we came here. And I've seen a lot of sets be announced before um, and and be launched and i was blown away by the amount of coverage that this got when it launched yesterday like it was everywhere everywhere including um you know like i did an interview with the guardian uk so there was like an article there about it coming out there was uh um the, I, I one of the late night comedy guys I can't remember if it was Jimmy Kimmel or one of the other ones like had a whole, a whole thing on it and uh, had one of his like gay writers come on and do a little bit about it. Um, and it was just um, I, I was just amazed. It was like my whole feed like on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook was just. Um, oh, is he frozen? Um, you saw it? Yeah. yeah. No, it's yeah. one of it's He's been back. a little bit of freezing. It's okay. Okay. We we, 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 we kind of got all that there, uh, Tricky. Uh, oh, sorry, what was that? <clears throat> no, you, you froze. Momentarily, you froze for a moment. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I, I was just saying that um, that everywhere I went yesterday seemed there were just pictures of this everywhere and people yeah. celebrating and being so um, just excited about it and happy that it was here. So um, really, really excited for, um, for that. So, yeah. Oh. Very cool. I I, I I am too. I think I think it's a really good set. Um, I, I I just think it's um, it's very expressive, and I think it really does reflect what you know uh, uh, very pertinent to this day and age. I really do think that. Well, and I just shared um, Greg with you. Um, so Richard, my husband, and I did um, a time lapse video of us putting mm -hmm. the um, of the set together. And um, I just shared it. I think you can probably, when you're ready, share that if you want to show it. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Here we go. Nicely done. He's getting quite pro at this, folks. He really is. <laughs> Here we go. Whee. 
so we've never done a time lapse before. So this was our first time, and we did um, we did manage to do it all in one take. <laughs> Look at that coordination! I love it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now we did do some prep. Like we had all the pieces all around us. <laughs> so I say the audio was funny. Get out of the way. Move your hand, Richard. No, Flynn, you move. <laughs> That's why we didn't put any audio on. <laughs> yeah. Did you switch this right halfway through? Recording? <laughs> yeah, there was quite, I mean, I think we spent more time setting it up than we actually spent doing the filming. But yeah, it's a it's a really terrific set. And the um, the monochrome figures, I know, will please a lot of people. Awesome. So. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Very cool, very cool indeed. Um, yeah. So, what what did it feel like for you actually doing a movie, a proper YouTube kind of feel? It was, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, we don't use because we usually do live. So, I was surprisingly nervous. <laughs> like, actually, like, even though it wasn't going to be on live, um, I was just. Um, uh, but yeah, we got really nervous. I just had. I wanted to make sure that everything was just so so that we could just do it and not have to do any stops or and mostly because i hate editing with like the fire of a thousand suns and i just did not want to have to edit anything yeah <laughs> so yeah but i gotta say of all of the reactions that i saw yesterday and i saw a lot and i don't know if you if you know if you were looking around there was like a somebody did like like they did parodies of it, you know, like their own versions. There was one that was like all Batman in all the different colors. I saw oh, all that's a great one. Idea. Um, our friend Nick, uh, Minifig Nick, did one with micro figures. Um, it was really great seeing all the little takes um, that people did on the set online. But my favorite of all was Richard Brixton's yeah. um, yeah. video that he did. I laughed so hard. That was so good. Like I actually like rewound it and watched it again because I had to say. And so like a big like shout out to Tech for doing the little yep. um the completely clear uh little yeah, the trans the trans clear figure was awesome. Perfect <laughs> render. It's hard to hit a parody like that. And it was he did a really good job, I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. It was really great. Um <laughs> And the but fact they turned that around so quick because you know yeah. obviously that I mean, how did they do that? I mean that was so that was proper like great idea executed perfectively. Yeah, it was yeah. it was it was really great. And I don't know if you like so a lot of these hair pieces are um in new colors, but there is actually one new yeah. hair mold, which is uh the blue stripe. Yeah is a brand new hair mold um and this is the first time it's debuting and i'm gonna guess we're gonna see it elsewhere but i don't you know who knows where gotta be gotta be stranger things you think it's steve really? from stranger things it's too it's so good yeah. for steve good yeah, cool. you know, there's an, there is actually already a stranger things hairdo right there the yellow that's will Byers yeah. there yep yep um, and then I understand that this brown hair piece here yeah. um, is uh, the first time in that color. Yes. In the brown. Yeah. Um, and I love that the um, Matthew said the purple beehive was a tribute to drag queens because he's a big fan of RuPaul's Drag Race. That one's so sick. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty great. So, yeah, lots of cool stuff in here for and I mean, you know, like the thing that i like about it is that the title everyone is awesome it's like mm. so maybe if you're not buying it because you know like pride is your thing um but you just because it's cool and i and i love that it is it's produced in such a way that it can appeal to a broad um uh, a broad audience yeah um so and, but you should be buying it because pride because that's awesome just saying, but <laughs> so I, I think it's it's time to bring in the man himself, uh, Mister 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 Trans Clear of uh, of New Zealand. He's of course our good buddy Richard from Brixy. Hello, mate. Morning, guys. How are you? Oh, Get out. Oh. How's it going? What time is it in New Zealand, Richard? Uh, it what? is six fifty-eight a.m. Oh, no. dude. No, I've 
Yeah, it's, it's a quick pit stop this morning because I've got... Sleeping in, are you? Hey, I said sleeping in, are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I was lying there and I saw you guys going live and I'm like, oh, I have to get up. I have to get up. <laughs> um, and yeah, Joshua's, my little boy's football starts at quarter past eight, I think it is this week. So it's a quick pit stop this week. Nice. But well, it's been well, a couple of weeks. So I, thought, I can't miss it. I can't miss it. I don't know if you're in the dream room, Richard, and put here, but I was just talking about this video and how much I loved it and how hilarious it was. It was so good. No, thanks, man. Thanks. No, it was, you know, I, I couldn't have done it without tech. I just, I woke up yesterday morning and, and thought, oh, tech does stuff on uh, studio. I'll give him a shout and see if we can whip this up for me. And he was, he was doing it while he was on side stream yesterday. So as soon as he finished <laughs> up with that, he sent me over the renders and I put a video together and it was, yeah, it seems to be doing okay for one of mine, you know? <laughs> it was, it was amazing. Just really, oh, really, really, really funny. And, and, like timed perfectly, if I yep. if I may say, it was like no, perfect, I appreciate perfect. that. Man. I appreciate. It. You know what though? I was I, I I went on. It was what what spurred me to do it was Lego's Instagram account. I went on there and I saw them announce it. And you know, you go past maybe the first couple of scrolls of the positive comments, and you start getting into some really nasty stuff. And I'm like, come yep. on. It's why 20, is that? 20, why, why, it's why 2021, people? you know? Come on, guys, you know? like. So. Yeah, I mean, I I mean, I mean, really, I feel really fortunate. Like, our, um, our post about it received, like, all very positive comments. But I know, and I don't know, personally, um, even though I've been talked about in the comments section of the internet for a while. Like I used to, to write about video games and you can only imagine what that was like. Um, but uh, I don't know, like I, I really tried to avoid reading any of it. Of course I saw yeah. some things um, and I saw what you posted and it's just, uh, I don't know. Like, you know what, if it's not for you and this goes for any set, mm -hmm. this goes for any set. And I don't just mean this one. But any yeah. set, like if you don't like it and it's not for you, like great. But like, why <laughs> squash everybody else's good time? Like, just like keep it to yourself. Like, no, you don't need to like go on the internet to actively say you don't like something. I'm sorry, but who cares? Yeah, who cares? And why why put in the effort? It takes energy to be negative. You exactly. know what I mean? Like it's, it actually takes more energy to be negative than to give something a like or, or something like that. To actually yeah, go it's, on it's there. Like and, if, you if you don't like it, don't. Mm. it's just yeah. It's so it's just, it's, I was just saying, it's like, it's like TV. If you don't like it, just change the channel and get on with it. Yeah. Scroll on. Scroll on. Yeah, it, it, it is a funny. But then I, I suppose, guys, we we put ourselves in in this position, and. We, we're open we, we, we you know we, we're quite open here uh we, we, you know we, a lot of us wear our hearts on our sleeve and and you know uh, and, and we will be criticized um i've been criticized for doing sometimes the right thing but sometimes you know sometimes the right thing isn't you know the easy thing uh yeah. but you know and 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 you know horses for courses it really is folks um so anyway, we've got someone else uh, in the in the back room as well. We're, we're, we're piling me, but I need to say thank you very much to Toby Rich. Uh, Five dollars. Thank you so much, my friend. A super sticker. I don't get many super stickers, actually. Um, I do appreciate that, mate. I'll have to write that down because um, <laughs> I'm going to write. I'm going to have to put some names on here in just a tick. Anyway, let's bring on um, another uh, another man. The man. This is like the rendering man. Uh, is of course our good friend. <laughs> Who's actually been out and he's already done a stream today, folks, believe it or not. He's of course Thomas, aka Tech Productions. Hello, mate. Hey everyone, how are we doing? Hey Tech. Hey, tech. Hey, tech. Hey, tech. Hey, tech. Good, good to see you, Tech. Doing? How's everyone doing? Good, yeah, thanks. Good. Yeah, going well. Good. Pretty good. How, how are you, <laughs> Tech? You looking awesome? I'm loving life. I may or may not have got some of the uh gym first sets early. Well done. Look at these. Yeah. Um, tech, sh do us a favor, show us them off. Okay, um, okay, my camera for autofocus is absolutely rubbish, but the printing on this fire station and this new Mickey silhouette brick that's really hard to see with those translucent things and this 
awful, awful autofocus on this camera. Um, but this set, kind of overpriced, I'm not going to lie, but we do get um, Pluto. Let me see if I can just change my camera for a second, and um, it might be able to do a bit of a close-up. Yeah, he's cool. Oh, that mm. is very cool. Is that the yeah. first? That's the first one we've had like that. So we did yeah. have a Pluto, a Duplo one, and we also had one that was um, in the like Fabuland style Mickey figures from like two thousand and one, two thousand early two thousands. But this is the first one like this. Um, so this is absolutely wicked, and I love this Pluto figure. Mainly the reason why I got this, uh, I got this set. So. Yeah, I love it. And I pick up the plane as well um, that has the exclusive uh, Mickey uh, print on there. He's like flying the plane and he's got a cool scarf detail on the back. Like I said, this, the characters aren't really set up for uh, sharing finite details. But uh, uh, one thing I was actually quite surprised at, I don't know if people knew this, I don't know if I was just being lazy and not taking a proper look at the sets, but on the Mickey and Minnie um, from the Fire Station set, the, the head molds are actually like completely new molds i thought they were just going to make like a jazzy hat to go over the years and around the years and stuff but the the head mold is actually new and um and yes yeah, it's, it's, it's molded in with the uh with the fire hat so that's really that's cool. pretty cool yeah yeah mm. it looks mm. good man it looks really good are you happy with those sets i am yeah like i said i think if, if pluto wasn't in that set i would be like livid of paying 45 pound for that uh fire station set. <laughs> right. is, is the tail on that i mean is the tail on pluto it, it looks a bit delicate it is but it's also rubber so it's fine oh okay yeah All rubber, right. and then like rubber is as well so they've integrated that really well so yeah you can like especially in a four plus set right that would be awful if that was plastic that would be like dying to to break in a four plus set but no they are uh, they've they've made it rubber they've integrated it really really well um and he feels like a really cool figure and like i said he's so he was like the last character of the original mickey and friends that we needed um mm, yeah. go along with all the other characters so i am i'm buzzing today is a very very good day um and i know yeah, you guys good for you. About it, uh, as well uh, richard's video was amazing like <laughs> i feel honored that i got asked to be a part of that like i absolutely love it it's possibly my favorite vid uh, video to come out of the lego community like i like flynn i was just watching it over and over again this morning like it was thanks man so yeah. so good so because yeah, i because I, I, because i saw it this morning i was like oh what's this gonna be about <laughs> and, then I thought, I, and then later on i was chatting with tech and he said have you seen richard's new video and I was like, yeah, I don't, is he pro this or is he against it? I don't know. And, <laughs> and then he goes, you, you just, just got to watch it. I was like, oh, God, here we go. Uh, anyway, put it on. I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Uh, in fact, the first comment I saw was Flynn. Uh, and mm -hmm. Flynn said, uh, oh, this made me laugh. And I was like, oh, I must be fine. It's safe, then. It's safe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's cool, man. It's cool. But, you know, it's uh, I, I think it's really cool. Who came up with the idea of the trans clip? Because the thing is, right, how long did it take you to even do the pictures, Tech? Um, so luckily, this I mean, the set is fairly, like Finn said, the, the set itself, the build isn't actually anything um, of, like, particular difficulty, dare I say. Like, it's, it's a fairly bog standard build. You can kind of see roughly what it is anyway. Uh, so putting that together wasn't too bad. It's just taking... The like renders off the computer doing a few different angles that's what kind of took the time but um richard just messed me and with a concept and so i just i'd like recreated that and uh luckily i pretty much got it right first time did a few different uh color backgrounds and stuff and we were uh richard was good to go and his like video up, was up by the morning i was like what a turnaround um like you said it's perfect timing um uh, yeah it's just just really really good so anyone that hasn't watched it what are you doing um, yeah, um, you got the two plans. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was good. It was good, and I, I was uh, I was happy to be part of something that I stand. I have got strong feelings for as well, um, because I know that, that I hadn't seen a lot of the ne negativity actually until last night, um, and that after I'd seen, I after I sent all the renders over to, to Richard, and so I was like, okay, now I'm even more glad that I can be. Uh, have a hand in like trying to combat some of that and 
silence some of the people that have been a bit too loud. So. Yeah. Oh, well said, Be beautifully said, mate. Beautifully said. Right. So, Thank folks, you. don't forget, talking of beautiful things, if you want to send me in a picture of anything that you've kind of made this week or in the last couple of weeks, send it in to me on Instagram and I'll feature it later in the stream. I really will. Um, so, cool. All right. So, we, we've spoken about that set. There was a, one or two other sets that came out recently. Uh, we've got these Disney ones for a start. I mean, I haven't even seen anyone review those tech. I don't think uh maybe justin has has justin i don't know actually i don't, I didn't see him I don't, I don't think anyone's reviewed them properly yet yeah. um okay. Fair get, enough. A review I, up, I, get a review I, up man <laughs> so <laughs> like, i don't tend to do like formal reviews but i i have recorded like a little video um of just like some very brief thoughts and opinions so i'm gonna hopefully um get that edited after tonight and uh Hopefully that'll be out tomorrow or Sunday, um, because it's cool to get sets early. Like I, it's it's a crazy like the one thing I think I enjoy more than getting sets for like a really discounted price is getting them early. So yeah, um, so doing a video on it um, is a little bit fun. And I think it's something that I'm going to do like going forward if I can get sets early and just do like a quick speed build and then um, just my general thoughts, pointing out what I like about it and um, whether I thought it was worth purchasing at full price um, and getting early as opposed to waiting. So. Once I saw you had them, I called Mastermind to ask because Mastermind in Canada very often gets sets early and is allowed okay. to sell them. They just aren't allowed to put them up on the website or yeah, they just yeah. don't put them up on the website. But they yeah. said they didn't have any of the new ones yet. So yeah, so they had, um, this time. yeah, House of Fraser had, so credit to Bricklicker. I mean, he, he's the one that um, informed me that uh, I can't remember somewhere, um, somewhere just below manchester i think had uh the infinity gauntlet and a lot of the um infinity war sets um there was only the one set that i saw at the, at the reading house of fraser and that was the one with black panther in um, yeah there was one friend set there was two of the new ninjago sets i believe the two um two disney sets and uh three of the harry potter sets that hogsmeade looks really really cool yeah uh, i think anyone with a winter village that is going to be one yep. to, to jump on it looks great yeah it does it does look really good so uh, are you thinking like because this next wave right it's not due out when is it due out is that june the first isn't it yeah. First, yeah. okay yeah. so we're not that far away from it um so is there anything i mean tech's probably got all the stuff he's gonna get I, i'm gonna say that actually tech we're going out on the fifth so are you um what, what are you what, what are you thinking of maybe maybe getting on the fifth then uh, when that comes around well i'll be honest like i completely forgot these sets were coming out june 1st like, i completely forgot i feel like i'd seen the like leaked images so long ago um and not really seen anyone talk about them them since so um so I might end up picking up the rest of, of the wave, to be honest, because I think the rocket ship, the space rocket, looks so good. Um, mm. uh, there's a, a cafe, I think, with um, Minnie and Daisy that looks awesome. So, uh, yeah, I think I if they've got it in stock, I might just end up picking up the rest of these Disney sets. Oh, you love your Disney sets. Are you going to do any reviews on them, mate? Because I do like your reviews. Like I said, I've done a like little video with um, with this set, uh but i don't tend to do formal reviews at, at least not for like i like doing the stuff for mocks because it's a bit different and and yeah. it gives the chance for people to see uh the review of a mock that they might not see i like to post the the links to those videos on rubricable as well so if anyone's scrolling through rubricable um and there's a mock that i've done you might see a video of me reviewing that but no i i leave the reviews up to the people that like proper dive into it I, especially with like something like disney i would hold a lot of bias towards it so i would just be like gushing over a set that may actually hold no good value to to anyone <laughs> so that's why I tend to the figures in these sets are really cool though man they are, they are really good yeah. they, they look good they, they kind of seem they seem pretty reasonably priced as well yeah like i said other than like i mean this fire station is the most expensive one and it's about 18 pounds more expensive than than the next than the next one i think the other one is like 28 pound a couple of 18 a couple of nine i think so yeah it, it seems like quite a jump but they've done it because you get pluto and it's a cheaper way to get goofy although the goofy torso print is different and there's no printed legs 
with Goofy. So if you're still going to want that, you will either have to pay for it on Brooklink or uh, get the Disney train. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So uh, Titanium J, you're a man of the world. Um, you see anything <laughs> in the new waves that kind of takes your fancy? Oh, yeah. Well, there's these Ninjago sets that are coming out that look pretty good. <laughs> well, tell us about these, because these look a little bit different to the usual ones. Yeah, they're underwater. Yeah, it's great. They uh, okay, so focus the... on the Merlopians and the season 15 villain Kalmar. Have you seen season 14 yet, though? Yeah. That was okay. the island. I've not even seen season 14 yet. They, they, they seem to have come out with all the sets and then kind of flipped over to... Um, yeah, you know, it's this new season that no one's seen yet. Yeah, it was strange. The whole season's come out, and it came all came out before the sets were revealed, oh, which was uh, good so because what, there there was a major spoiler in some of the sets. Uh, okay, all right. Well, see, we can talk about them. I just want to say thank you to Doc Samson as well. One dollar forty nine. Thank you very much, my friend. I really do appreciate that. I honestly do. I love that. Um, thank you, Doc. Uh, I'll add you to the wall in just a tick. Sai. So, what do you Yo. think about these uh, these new sets coming out then? Anybody, anything take your fancy? Yeah, I mean, the Marvel sets take my fancy, the Ferris wheel and the castle. Um, there's also, the, the Disney ones are amazing. Um, there's the, I think there's a new sub thing to come with Lego Friends as well. I don't know if that's a known thing yet, but um, that looks pretty cool, like a little printed um, owl and stuff to come. And then there was, what was the other thing? Do -do 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 -do. Oh, well, obviously the Bad Batch shuttle is another cool thing that I, I want to get. Yeah, so bye-bye wallet, bye-bye money, bye-bye kids education. <laughs> Hello, Lego. <laughs> kids don't need educated anyway. <laughs> uh, the yeah, what you need on the streets. So is, is June the 1st? Is that when the Bad Batch is coming out, Tech? No, that's coming out in uh, August. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's a long August way away. First, is it August 1st? Okay, August 1st, yeah. Um, they did okay. the pre-order on that one, I think, didn't they? So. What about you, Brixing? What takes your fancy then? Some of the some of these new sets that are coming out. Well, I've already put my order in with with the local toy store, so they're going to let me know as soon as they come in. Hopefully, very soon. Judging by the other stores starting to get stuff early, but um, no, those those well, what do you call them? Those maxi figs, those Harry Potter uh, figs. Um, I'm going to get those uh, forks, the, the buildable phoenix, um, and the castle. That's that's yeah. probably it for June. Oh, so the castle, are you going to go for the uh, three in one castle? Yeah, well, I've got, I've shown it off a few times now. I've got the original Black Falcon's Fortress. Um, so I'm keen to sort of see how far they've come since 1986 or 1987 or whatever it is, you know? So I don't know, but I think it'll be kind of cool to have, I'm, I'm going to do a video on them side to side, so side by side. That's, that's a cool idea. You used to buy records back then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah well, it's what? 37 years old now that's it so you know oh god yeah from my age here but you know my first cd i ever bought was is 35 years old this year that's ridiculous <laughs> yeah. yeah what was yeah. it yes yeah. uh so by peter gabriel with sledgehammer on it oh, yeah. oh great great album great album yeah yeah it's, it's, it's my, my favorite album of all time it, it was the first one they ever bought for me folks and i played it so much it's kind of inscribed into my brain it's, it's kind of burned <laughs> into every single memory cell i've got Look at that um, blank look on Jay and, and, and Tech's face. We're talking yeah. about <laughs> yeah, what's a CD? Yeah. I, think, I think we lost yeah, a CD. CD. What's a CD? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a CD thing that did it. Um, but yeah, well, well, actually, that's interesting. Then. So, what was. Um, uh, sorry, you, you, was a, you was a DJ. Uh, what, what was your favorite? What was your favorite record back in the day? Well, I liked, let me see, I liked kind of rap music and kind of 80s metal before I liked dance music. So, the, so the, I can't remember what the first album I ever bought was. It could have been um, Appetite for Destruction by Guns N' Roses with the original artwork on it, which is very, very gruesome. Um, or Straight Outta Compton by NWA. It was one of those. <laughs> on vinyl. I know, yeah. Or actually, one of the, um, Bring the Noise with um, Public Enemy. Me and anthrax yeah. that was I think that, that was, was my great. second single i ever bought oh man man after my own heart i used to love all that sort of stuff too yeah well, well, richard, you're, richard, you're, richard you're huh? big on records and stuff what, 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 yeah. what, what, what was your what was your kind of first album ever bought first one i bought 
Oh, probably a Metallica album, to be honest. It probably would have been a Metallica Black or or maybe Injustice for All, actually. It definitely would have been something along those lines. Yeah. When I started getting into music. So, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Titanium, have you actually ever owned a record? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was Do you know time. what they are? <laughs> well, I have a vague idea. Well, let's work, let's work away from those. What, what about cassette tapes? Did you ever have one of those? I didn't own, I didn't personally own cassette tapes. Oh, tech, but, tech. Oh. Good man, tech. I've got some. Uh, that mini disc. Have you ever heard of a mini disc before, Titanium? No. I haven't heard of that. Oh, God. Really? <laughs> have you I, ever I, owned, I worked for so many single. That's the real question. Do you remember those? Yeah. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> oh, I that. oh no, I was saying if it like the real test is have you ever owned a cut single, which was a cassette with one song on it? Yep. And it would play and it would be the same song on both sides so that when you got to the end you could just flip it over. <laughs> it be at the beginning. You didn't have to rewind it. <laughs> the thing is I, I still listen to um CDs or, or well MP3s or whatever it is today, and I, I can remember where the cut was, you yeah. know, from cassette. So I'll go through and I go, oh, that would have been the end of side one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See my kids looking at me going, side one. <laughs> <laughs> God, those are the days. I mean, I mean, I mean, literally, if you listen to a record now, it, it's, it's a bit of a ceremony of listening to a record, really, isn't it? It's got to take the time to, you know, take it out of the sleeve, flip it up, see if there's any dust on it, pop it down, pop the needle on it. You know, most people be knackered these days before they even started playing it. <laughs> But Tech, what, what, show us some of your records that you've got. Okay, so um, records in the last maybe five years for like more current bands has become a bit more popular. I yeah. think it's more of uh, a thing to have as like memorabilia, just like merchandise, because no one's really buying CDs for the purpose of buying CDs anymore. But to have like a vinyl is, is pretty cool. Uh, so I just got some. Uh, okay, maybe like the 1975 aren't a small band anymore, but um, there were some smaller bands that I wanted to get uh, that were doing like exclusive uh, ones. So one of them is uh, the Japanese House. Um, and oh, let me show that off because it's pretty cool, man. Uh, this the artwork on this is really cool. I actually went to uh, her, she did like a really really sh small show in Bristol um, on the album launch day, and she signed it. So that was really cool. Japanese House, uh, really really good. Uh, musician and then the 1975 quite a big hot uh, big uh band now like won, yeah they've won like quite a few brits now i think it's actually that way around um and then falls as well um Ooh, like probably, like, I, like, i've gone from the 1975 being my favorite band to, to falls um again this one i managed to get signed as well oh um my God. which is really cool um I, yeah i love that band i was meant to be seeing them three times last year but they uh but they they cancelled so uh, hopefully they're going to go ahead mostly this year and then another band called the hunter as well another signed uh signed record from the hunter uh, they're, again really really cool band so yeah there are they're, they're a few records that i have like i said i got it more to support the artists and have as like a bit of merch i don't actually own a record player there was a time where i was gonna buy one but um Streaming is just far too convenient. <laughs> um, yeah, it takes up a lot of space. So. And to, to, Apple, sorry. just to hint, yeah. um, make sure you always store your records vertically like that. Don't ever have them flat because they warp. Yeah, really. really? Noted. Yeah. Noted. Uh -huh. I always wondered why they, they, they did that because like DJs would have them like, literally lined up in a row, <laughs> and it would be. Yeah, you sort of think, well, how do you like that? Or it makes more sense to just pile them up. But the, no, there isn't way. The things we learn, folks, the things we learn. Uh, yeah, I, I there's some it. information from the, from years ago now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Cy, so, so, but you you was a DJ. You I mean, you must have some big old records. I mean, I'm presuming now, but have you got some records in the background? Or, you know, that, that you've kept, that you sort of always, you know, they're, they're like your go-to records. Or, I mean, being a DJ, you must have had quite a few. <laughs> Got a this DJ bag right there. One of my records. He has to. He has to. <laughs> so yeah, I do have them all pretty handy. Um, but yeah, like I've got like hundreds of records. And back in those days, you had to be very careful because other DJs would try and rob your records. Hmm. Like there's a lot of the records we I would have had would be white labels, so they would have been pre-release records. 
So you know, like if you had that record, you yeah. could play that before anyone else, and you're, it's like having a set from Land before anyone else. If you had that record, you drop it. People be like, "Oh my God, what's that? Where'd you get it?" And you'd say, "You'd be able to tell them it's only fifty of them made." And if it was popular, it would get turned into a proper release and hopefully do well for people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it can, it can, it can turn to gold. Those sort of things can. Um, now, talking of gold. Kevin, terrible segue, but that's the way I'm going with it, folks. Um, we've got two people on the panel tonight that are building something. We've got someone painting something, and Matt, I'll be with you in just a sec. Um, I want to know what, what has, um, and strangely enough, two people are building speed champions of all things. Uh, one's doing a Lamborghini, one's doing a Jag. Titanium's doing the Jag, makes sense. Uh, you know, I'm bored. He's doing, a, he's doing a Lambo. Now, what one have you gone for to, to build first, uh, Kevin? Um, I just follow the order of the instructions, so I'm doing the black one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to put the stickers on it? Because I think that's got quite a few on it. That one. Yeah, I always, I always put the stickers on. I like, I like having it um, with all that design extra stuff on it. And if I want to build something else, I'll just get another one and go from there. Mm. Um, yeah, it's great. Well, how's it gone so far? Then? Show, show us what you built so far. I built bag one and half of bag two, so it's almost done actually. Um, a little bit more to go, but I really love Speed Champions cars. Um, it's not the type of thing I thought I'd be into, but I got one of them and then I needed all of them immediately. They are just the builds are so fun and they look so good, and I, I would pay at least 50% more for them. Uh, <laughs> even really? yeah, I love them. I think oh, no, no, I, just, I just heard someone's record going <laughs> across. <laughs> um, oh, I wanted to add since no one asked me what sets I'm looking forward to. Uh, well, they don't come get, until I, I'm here, but um, for, for all these friends sets that are coming out, mm. all the amusement park ones, the hotel, the yeah. high school, um, those look awesome. And yeah. whether you, if you don't get them because you don't like midi dolls, you're insane and you're missing out on like, really really fun sets basically yeah. and oh, I, I love them yeah i love them i I, yes. I, I I think they're brilliant and um and, and you, you i mean you build quite a lot of friend sets don't you yeah I, mostly because there's kind of all they're never that expensive and there's kind of always one available that i would get so if i just need something to build um and they've, they're very often in stores that have sales so i can get a lot of them a lot cheaper than you know they are all the time so I think they're highly underrated sets and they've always got really great play functions and yep. the, the um, like the diversity of skin colors is much greater than minifigs. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we actually have um, sig figs and mini doll sig figs for, for us. Um, we enjoyed making those. And I also like it cause it makes me look really skinny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Do you have uh, Sig Big Figs? <laughs> no, we don't have. Oh, that's next. <laughs> no, Doesn't anybody do it? It's got to be next. I'm not quite sure how that would work out. Well, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a good point, actually. I don't know anybody who's got a Big Fig as a Sig Well, because fig. the Big Figs are usually like, you know, like the Hulk yeah. or like the, I'm yeah. trying to think like the only really, and he's not even technically a human, but the character from Moana Mm. Um, oh, who, with all the tattoos, which I had to get because all the tattoos. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but mostly it's always like kind of more, you know, monstrous. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, not yeah. That Hulk is a monster, but like green skin, purple skin for Thanos. And you've got like, I have some older. Oh, look at, check this guy out. Blue skin for Sandy. Oh, yeah. yeah blue skin that. for Sandy. Right. This guy. Yeah. This is an older one, but. Uh, Excuse me. This guy. Nice. That's good. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Blimey, he's got a... Is he from the trolls kind of era? Yeah, it was trolls versus dwarves. Like yeah. there's a whole like thing. Yeah, there's a couple of them, but they all come in they come in other colors, and then you've got like um you've got like the Wampa. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah you could basically only swap out the arms, right? Yeah, and then this is the guy from 
uh, nice. yeah. you know, who's really kind of more the only real closest to human character, I think, that we have in a big fig. But still, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> very, very cool, mate. I like it. I like the big figs. I really do. I've got the Incredible Hulk in a onesie outfit. He's pretty cool. Uh, he's, he's got that white onesie outfit. I don't, I don't even... He, I think he's, the, he's the, like a helicopter or something like that he come with. Yeah, it's from Endgame. Yeah. Uh, Endgame, yeah. I mean, why... Hulk needed a helicopter, I don't know, but there we go. That's comics for you folks. Maybe he could be bothered one day to commute. Um, but I can't but yeah, wait to see what people do with the buildable minifigures, like the big Oh, piece. yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun to see the customs that come from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's it's an interesting one. And, uh, I, I mean, I'm a fan of, a, of the big figs. I, th I, think, I think they're quite good. Um, Greg, we yeah. should have got kids. Well, <laughs> What, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Which has got kids? He's got kids yeah, to go feed. You've even. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I'll just get back to it. Uh, Richard, let me pop you in the middle. Sorry, uh, I'm, being, I'm being rude. Um, what, what's coming up on your channel in the next week or so, mate? I mean, I mean you've come out with a corker today. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. That one. One. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll play it by ear, man. I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow night, my time. So tomorrow morning, your time. So um that's a oh, not tomorrow morning your time sunday morning your time sorry damn time zones um but yeah that's about it really that's all i've got planned yeah all right dude well look you know like as, as you once said in your very philosophical vlog life happens it really life does. happens man. life <laughs> happens yeah you know but you know good to see you dude take care as always all look right after yourself. Bye, 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 Richard. Richard. Take care. Take care, dude. Bye, Richard. And that, ladies and gentlemen, with Richard, aka Brick Scene TV. Check him out in the description below. He's a top bloke. He really is. Right, let's have a little, uh, let's have a little wander, shall we? Have a little wander. Uh, Matt. Yes. <laughs> That's a cue uh, for you uh, to show us what you what you painted. Because uh, Matt, Matt is an extraordinary artist, folks. He really is. So, you know, uh, I'll just have to angle it up. Oh, hello. This is sort of still only the, the underpainting. This looks mischievous. If I get the uh, the lights probably on it too much. I'm turning that off. Yeah. Wow. So, um, yeah, Kevin? it's going. Sorry. Is that Kevin? No. Yeah, the lights still quite <laughs> faint. So it's sort of like the the first layer, and then. Um, um, We'll just go through and then do a bit more on it and it'll start to to come together a bit better and people might be able to tell what it is then <laughs> it's beautiful it's a yeah. lovely painting style oh, matt, that's right. yeah matt you're an awesome painter you really are but what the, the, the thing is i like about matt that he's quite i don't know i've never come across it maybe i don't know that many artists to be honest um but matt you seem to have quite a lot of different styles yeah, it's I've um, it depends upon what I'm I, I guess working in like watercolors I'll do you know one sort of style oil paints I'll do something different again if I'm doing markers like those quick little gags I normally do that's something different again if I'm doing something pencil that can be something different so it's sort of adjusting to whatever um, medium or whatever uh, tool that I'm using um, what may think so well have you got guess, a particular style that you prefer Matt um it just comes down to what i my favorite thing to do is oil paintings but they just take forever so mm -hmm. like this this watercolor which i'm doing you know i'll get most of it done tonight and then i can finish it off in a couple of hours somewhere else whereas an oil painting will take me the better part of four weeks to do um the the oil paintings like that's what these um yeah the, the joker and things that we've got here um hopefully there's not, not enough glare Mm -hmm. um, oh, this is cool. So this is like a, this is proper oil painting and things. Um, it's in a frame, oh. so you're going to get a bit of glare. Matt, that is so good. Um, but you know, something like that will take like a month to do, sort of thing. You know, on and off because oh, you got to let wow, let it dry. Wow, that yeah. is stunning. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So, um, 
yeah, it's just one of those sorts of things for anyone who has kids, you know, that you just don't have time anymore. So that's why I've sort of gone from this to doing more watercolors because, you know, watercolor can at least get something done because um, you've got uh, kids to deal with otherwise. Well, I was, I'm, I'm going to say, like, it's a shame that you can't get the same level of detail in that painting as you do in your clever line drawings. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. almost sounds like a challenge do you want one <laughs> I, I mean i just the, you're i mean because well so funny thing is, is like until just right now i've only ever seen your line drawing so this was like my introduction to your um epic painting talent wow i'm just completely blown away really <laughs> really Appreciate fantastic it. Yeah, I don't know. Obviously, coming from like theater and doing what you do, I, I, I'm sure you can, uh, uh, you know, appreciate different um, techniques and things like that as well. So cool. Absolutely. And drawing and painting has never been my forte. Like, and I'm always really, um, I just respect so much people who can just yeah. draw amazing things and paint incredible things. And the detail work is all, you know, I mean, I love paying attention to tiny details in my mocks and, and stuff that I build. So seeing people who put that kind of attention and care into other mediums is always, um, always a pleasure. Yeah, it's just, um, you probably get it. It's that creative sort of thing. And even when people are doing mocks and building, or even if you follow like in instructions and things like that, it's, it's kind of just without getting too philosophical, it's that act of creation sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and, you know, particularly if you're doing your own mocks and things, being able to have an idea and try to execute it and sometimes being a bit iterative and hitting a dead wall and sort of coming back and going in a slightly different direction to sort of get the end result. Yeah, it's really, really beautiful. Nicely done. Yeah, yeah, no, very cool. Very cool. We love a bit of art. Uh, it's the nice thing about doing London calling, you know, uh, different strokes. Uh, for different folks, uh, I think it's a nice way of putting it. Um, so, what we've got going on there? I think it's probably time to look at a few pictures uh, while we're here. And then what we do is we'll, we'll, go, we'll whip round and see how everybody's doing. Um, Tech, you, you look all lonely over there. I, I wish you was nearer to the camera so we could get a, like, a proper look at you. <laughs> wow. You know. wow. What lovely big eyes you've got. <laughs> so handsome. <laughs> he is. He is. He's very lucky. Oh um, okay, let's take. I, I say, well, I, I say, <laughs> I tell you what, there's a lot of people out there going to be watching this back and freezing that moment, folks. Uh, just remember one hour, two minutes, and nine seconds, folks. That's the bit you're looking for. <laughs> They'll be all kissing their screens. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, <laughs> what a scary thought. Yeah, uh, I don't have thought at the same time as well. Uh, all right, let's have a look at a few pictures that people sent me because we've got, we, we, we've got loads. Now, I've got to go down to somebody who sent me one hey, earlier in the week, uh, and it's a mock. That is, of course, if I can find it. Uh, but I can't find it, so I will have to dig it out. But let's go to someone. Let's go to this one. This is quite a cool one. How about this? London Underground by our good friend of the channel, Jarve Briggs. Uh, we were talking about yeah. technical. This uh, techniques is, earlier on. Yeah, uh, this is incredible. This is amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so cool. I've seen that, yeah. I was yeah. staring at that for like a good 20 minutes, half hour the other day, just like flicking through all the pictures he's done of that and just going back and forth and back and watching him like, thought he did a short video where he like folded it over. Yeah. Ah, so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It is. Just seeing them all come together. Oh, I love it. Love it. It is, it, it's really cool and uh, especially with you being kind of much more into like your documentaries and stuff like that you can definitely appreciate it uh as well um for, for the you know the quality of the technique uh so anyway this is from uh, this is a wonderful picture uh this is very cool i like this this is the brick box uh this is built these on my very first twitch stream very cool we should talk about some twitch tonight uh it was a fun build and an interesting experience there we go that sounds ominous i like that uh there we go there's... Nice. Those are great. Yeah, love it. You can, um, if you buy another one, you can make the other main minion, can't you? Am I right? If you buy, you can. I'm not sure. Could we? They, they seem to be quite popular when we was out, weren't they? Uh, yeah, so I think. I think is. Oh, I I don't even know the names. I'm not even gonna like pretend I know. But there's three main ones. One's like short with two eyes. One is short with one eye. Right. Uh, yeah, Kevin and, and Stu. That's it. And Bob's the other one. What is it? 
Is is it Bob, Kevin, and Stu? I can't remember. I can't uh, remember the third one. But yeah, so basically the set comes with two of them on the on the front, and then if you go into the back, I don't know if the instructions are included or if it's one that you have to go online to do. But you can um you can then build the third one if you get another if you get another set. Right. Nice. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, Flynn, hold that thought. We'll do that in just a t in just a second, my friend. I love a bit of animation. I really do. I was watching your stream earlier on. And I wanted to talk about that as well. Mm -hmm. it's a big, sure. It's a big deal and it's special as well, which is a, a, a love. Hey, Echo Bricks. Um, right. This one. This is a this is a cool one. Uh, this is from the wonderful Doc Sampson. I love a bit of Doc. Uh, this is uh, some images from his. How can I put it? Um, different people, shall we say? Uh, there is no ordinary people in his city. That's for sure. Uh, in, in I, I don't know what you see he's called actually oh, actually sorry let me make it a little bit bigger um i call it we'll, we'll call it the the, the samson city shall we the doc samson city let's take a look there we go nice <laughs> Looking good. i like it i like it variety uh there we go oh, there's a minion in this one as well there we go uh, look away size it's the it's the falcon and there's a minion in there <laughs> <laughs> I like his glasses though, aren't they? They're pretty cool. I'm loving that. Um, anyway, let's go to another one, Doc. Uh, this is from George. Uh, George. Josh builds stuff. Oh my lord. Um, this is my latest mosaic. Uh, if you want to show it on London Calling, uh, this is quite something actually. It says, or all three of my custom mosaics. Can I see all three of those? Yes, I can. Brilliant. All right, guys, prepare yourself incoming for some awesome mosaics, everybody. This is from, like I say, uh, Josh Build stuff. And this is his first one. This is, uh, well, I don't really have to say who he is because oh. you can clearly see. Ooh, Ooh, cool. No, um, nice. That's wonderful, isn't it? Liking that. Uh, and this one here is a collection. He's got three of them together. I think this is rather good as well. Here we go. This is. Uh, Boba, a stormtrooper. Oh, wow. oh yeah. I think that Mandalorian one at the top was one of the first like custom ones to come out after um the set come out. Like it was one that was uh batted around quite early on after the art sets got released. Uh so I've seen that one kicking around. It, it's so good. I love cool. these I love these custom mosaics so much. Yeah, it's, it's gonna. Oh, good. I, I, it's gonna break me. Like I am gonna be on the street <laughs> somewhere, but I'm gonna have a collection of these custom mosaics. <laughs> Ted, you've done so. You've done. You've done a couple of blinders, mate. Uh, and and uh, strange enough, so it's Flint. Um, this is from uh, Craigster. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at here, but he says my Aquazone Sea Turtle. Uh, that explains it. Uh, exploration research sub. Hmm, interesting bit of a mouthful but i love it it's kind of like think of it think of it like this folks uh it's it's like um it's like thunderbirds uh meets uh oceanic uh sea creature okay. <laughs> just about got those words out my uh, that my did mouthful. not help at all <laughs> cool nice i like That's that cool. i love it I really you, guys. you guys out there are amazing of course, tonight you guys are all awesome and you know it. So thank you for that. Um, so yeah, keep keep them coming, folks. We've got a few more out there as well. We'll, we'll do another little segment a little bit later as well. That'd be kind of cool. Um, so where should we go now? Flynn. Uh, Greg, just uh, sorry, just before you do that, I saw um, Plastic Architect popped into the chat there. For anyone who didn't see her stream last night, it is one oh, of the no. funniest streams I've yes. ever seen. Yes. Oh, after this one, go and check it out. Is this yeah. yeah yeah it's yeah. well worth a watch is yeah. it, so, so, so give me because i started watching it and, and it was a next thing i knew he, was, he looked like he'd been tattooed yeah. <laughs> he looked like one. he looked like the worst soundcloud rapper ever to walk the earth <laughs> <laughs> wow oh, definitely anyway uh where is claire she goes love that there thanks matt uh claire great to see you um and yeah i, I really enjoy it. i i what did we do last night I finished my we, fi we finished off with Sai. i was logging into work and then boom i was just catching the first sort of 10 5 10 minutes of it but anyway enough about that look who we got here in the top right hand corner we got the wonderful no leg hi 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 hello, hello. hello. 
it's like, hey, wonderful people. <laughs> you got a new T-shirt. You want to show everybody his T-shirt. That was my only good. Yeah, he got an H&M. His mom like bought that. it, not sponsored. And um, <laughs> yeah, isn't it awesome? Wow. Yeah. Mirror, you see. So. so what? I have new shoes. Yeah, we won't be able to show them the shoes unless you stand on the table. You'd like sure. that. Better. Stand on the table. Stand on the table. <laughs> Let's just pull a tech and pop your knee up. What I? But bang your foot. Can you see it? And right. I see you wear cool trainers. Oh, like, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, sorry, sorry, headphone wearing people. <laughs> what did I do? I tried to show them your shoe. <laughs> you're young, you're all bendy. It's fine, don't worry about it. Um, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> I think a new coat is a um, Marvel's. Yeah, you got a Marvel jacket, didn't you? That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. A coat, a coat sorry. A jacket. Okay, <laughs> shouting. Brenda's not here to compete, so you, you're okay. Rich <laughs> <laughs> oh, in the chat now going, I see you, I hear you. Probably. I know she's working hard tonight, I think. She's uh, <laughs> right now. Yeah, no, she's hard work. Art, artist art. I think the worst thing for artists uh, are like sort of constraints. Oh, yeah. constraints are a bad thing. They're probably a good thing, in fact. Um, but uh, deadlines is probably a tough thing for an artist, I would say. Mm-hmm. Is there never enough time? I think that's probably probably it. Is a painting ever finished? Matt, is actually is it have you ever got a painting that you've ever done that you've just carried on doing over years or anything like that? Um there's yeah, I've got a couple which are unfinished, which uh, I want to get to and finish at some stage, but it does sort of also get to the point where I think one I've got going from about ten years ago. In the meantime, you develop so much, you then go back and it's like, well, I pretty much have to restart most of this. It's not like I can just finish off a few things, but um, and much for that sort of reason, I just try not to have things unfinished unless I'm really not enjoying it or it's not working. So yeah, try to get things done. Um, because yeah. otherwise, it's, it's for me, it's just one of those things that's always just lingering in the back there. It's like, mm, not quite done yet. Need to get that done. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. Right. I'll tell you what is cool. Finally. Oh, uh, no leg. No leg. Has he got to go already? Finally. Yeah, Finally. I, I, I think Greg was trying to keep him here to wreck my legs even more because he's <laughs> so heavy. I know. Say bye, everybody. Bye. Say bye, Kevin. Bye, Kevin. <laughs> bye Greg. Okay. Look, there's Flynn. We want remember you're watching Flynn on telly the other night. Oh yeah. yeah. And, it was bridge. <laughs> and his bridge went kaboom. It's a bridge. Yeah. And say goodbye to Matt. Bye, Matt. And bye, uh, Jay. He might be gone. I think he's gone to the toilet. And uh, say bye. Oh, there he is. <laughs> say bye, Tech. Bye, See you later. Say bye, everybody bye. in the chat. Bye. Bye. Have fun, big boy. Bye. <laughs> So how's your leg oh i can't walk of pins and needles all the way yeah i feel great thanks Nelly. yeah absolutely <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> hey, he's cool he's cool um right i tell you so anyway going back to the cool thing uh let's take a look at a piece of work uh, now that's it i i think you need to, I, I first of all i need to pop you in the middle flynn um i uh, tell us a little bit about the background of what you're about to show us. Oh, sure. So um, our friend Yano, also known as um, Femme from the Block on Instagram, which if you're not following her, you should because her builds are amazing. She, she has so much fun uh, building and stuff. Well, she does these um, stop action Lego animations and other things as well. But um, she had done a couple of really beautiful animations for a couple of our build challenges on our channel. And then um, I, you know, for the longest time, I've wanted an opening animation for our YouTube show. I was just like, it would be so fun to have a little animation. So I got together with her and was like, would you be interested in, in doing this? She was like, yes. So we kind of like made a list and I apologize. Anybody watching this who isn't familiar with our show, there are kind of a lot of in jokes like, you know, with people who watch the show often. So you may not understand everything, but I think you'll be able to appreciate it as a really fun 
animation. So I wrote a very simple, easy song and played it on the ukulele and sang. Yano animated everything and then um, um, also helped with some playing and singing on it. So mm -hmm. that's so now this is going to be our opening animation on our show moving forward. So is it going to be on all your shows, a particular show? No, all every show. This is like now the opening credits, you know, like the opening of our, of, of our show each time, which is going to be great. And we'll also put us on a bit of a timer to make sure that we're like ready on time. <laughs> like, so it's like, okay, when the song's over, we're done. Yeah, no, I, and I tell you what, yeah, I, I don't know if anyone's ever noticed it. When I do my intro for the London Calling anyway, there's a little part right at the end where there's a firework goes off. Uh, that's like the cue of basically, Greg, you've got five seconds to sort yourself out. Um, so that's kind of why I do that. So, hey, Flynn, Flynn, can I sorry, can I ask you, how do you pronounce her name? Is the L silent? Yeah, this is really confusing me as Wait, well. Wait, no, what now? Yano. Is it oh, yeah. Yano? Yeah, the two L's um, are pronounced uh, as a Y. It's, it's, a y. Um, yeah. it's a Spanish, you know, yeah. a Spanish language thing. Perfect. Thanks for thanks for that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. So I think it's time to see it, don't you? Yes. So let's first of all let's add it to the stream. Come on, everybody, let's start the show. A quick ahoy, hoy, and away we'll go. Richard's got a mini fig and Flynn's got a pin. The gang's all here and it's time to begin. Tricky Bricks roll call. Moto, Holly, Kara, and sometimes Blair, Clicky, <laughs> Logan, Ms. Thing and Angela, and Thunderman Ho. <laughs> now you're here to grab your bricks and let's go to the, the Tricky Bricks Building Check Show. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> very, That's awesome. Very, I love it. She very, did such an incredible job and I, so much detail and, you know, she spent a lot of time working on it. I, I really just... There was so much of it, and there's. It's funny, like I've already watched it a bunch of times. Like sh she wouldn't let us watch it until today when it premiered, because um, she wanted to get our reactions in real time. And um, I still haven't, especially at the end where it splits into like all the squares. Mm -hmm. There's something going on, and I and I can't because. And every time I watch it, I can't stop because I look at Moto's square. So if you go back and look at the very end, Moto's square, he's holding up his wolf head and then like drops it, <laughs> and and then his like minifigure has like a horrified face. And it and if you you know if you know Moto, he has dropped a couple of things. <laughs> it made it really it was really quite quite. He 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 actually dropped what well, yeah. last week I think it was. He's got this big orange thing that's kind of gone. <laughs> it bursts out. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was, so he was making a mock of a balloon that was right at the point when a dart was popping it and it had like an explosion out. And we were doing a charity stream for um, um, the Leukemia uh, Foundation, uh, Leukemia and Lymphoma Foundation, sorry. Um, and um, he came on and he was like, oh yeah, I wanna show you guys the stuff I'm working on. He's like, I hope I don't pull a moto. And he literally like lifted it up to show it and like the whole bottom of it fell off and like exploded. Oh no. Um, and it was heartbreaking. And I think everybody in the, it was like everybody's screen froze at the same time because everybody just went, <laughs> kind of like sat like that for a minute. And um, but yeah, it was it was a moment, and but, and you know what's funny in a very mo, you know, you've had Moto on before. He's very chill about everything, mm -hmm. and yeah. I was texting with him about it later, and I was like, oh man, Moto, I'm so sorry, um, you know that that happened, and he's like, no, I'm really glad it happened on camera because now like I could go back and I watch the video and I could tell exactly when like what was wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> like such a moto thing to say exactly. so um oh so if anybody if you're interested in seeing the video again you can go on our instagram or on fem from the blocks instagram um, and we'll also be posting it to our youtube later um and thank you so much greg for letting me share that i'm just so proud oh. of yano and all of her hard work on it it was such a great did such a great job so. well, i think i think the peeps would actually like to see it again would, would that yeah would, would, yes yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to see it again because right at the end, like she was saying, 
uh, on your stream, uh, at the end of it, you kind of look at it. Where, where do I look first? So I've got to see it about six times before I know, I know what I've seen. So I just get called to Logan every time, just seeing him jump through the rainbow at the cookies. Like I'm just like I can't <laughs> take my eyes off of it. Well, and that's like actually, it. you know, we've been doing um, you know, we do Logan cookie time on our show. We feed our dog a cookie. People love it, so we kept doing it because right, like cute dogs and the internet go together, okay. and. Um, <laughs> We usually do a little animation that I made like a million years ago. And so mm. I think we're going to actually adopt that as the new mm. Logan Cookie Time animation mm. uh, for that. So, yeah, you'll be able to see these things a lot. So I think I think everyone needs to have a Logan in their life. It's uh, true. Uh, the, it's like a creator three in one set, isn't it? Yeah. So there's a yeah. there's a creator three in one German Shepherd that just came out. And if you replace the front little curve with white and if you replace mm. the little pause has a little those little um, stadium pieces, you know, yeah. pieces. If you replace those with white, it's the spitting image of Logan. So oh, awesome. I, we're going to have to do that, I think, just 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 to bring a bit of America into our <laughs> British hearts. I think we will. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much, Tommy Rich. Top man, thank you so much, my friend. I really do appreciate it, and um, uh, I do, uh, I, I do want to see this again. But I also want to know a little bit about this um, this charity that you're, you're you're raising money for as well, Flynn, because uh, that particular uh, I, I lost a very good friend of mine, my, my closest friend, my best friend to that particular cancer about two years ago, and. Um, I always try everything I can to help people out in that situation. I really do in the background. So um, that that is something that is uh, it, 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 I kind of put it. It runs it runs through my my blood. Like, it really does because it's uh, yeah. it, it, it's a horrid thing and uh, definitely something I'd like to talk to you maybe privately about as well. Sure. Um, but 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 yeah. Anyway, but, but away from away from that, folks, because you know it's all about balance and life. Life is all about balance, folks. It really is um let's take another look another look, look at this incredible animation y'all are too kind um, thank you by, by, by the, the, well actually so so who actually it was commissioned by you but it was kind of your ideas but it was executed by what's by, what's by yano uh, yeah, from yeah. the block, and then I wrote the song and played it on my ukulele, and then um, she um, added some extra enhancement and some extra vocals um, at, in the end. But she mm -hmm. did all the animations with some help from, I mean, not like physical help from me, but like I provided a lot of the pieces, and but she yeah. did all the research. Like on our Sunday shows, we have all of those people on, and if you ever see our Sunday shows and then look at her animation the level of detail that she was able to achieve in everybody's backgrounds was just, I mean, like bordering on obsessive, like in a really fabulous way, but just really, in, just incredible. Uh, so. Well, Yaro is a very, how, how can I put this? A, a colorful character. Um, I don't believe I've met her before uh, until today. So uh, yeah, so, so fascinating. I find people very fascinating folks and uh, Yaro is definitely worth, um, can we get where can we get links to Yano's works and stuff like that? So um, she is well. If you go to the description of our video that this premiered on earlier today, yep. you can get those links there. On Instagram, she's Fem from the Block F E M M E from the Block on Instagram, and from there you can um, you can also look up Fem from the Block or Yano River Blue. Her parents were hippies. Yano, that's two L's. L L A N O Yano River Blue. If you put that into your um, YouTube search, you'll find her channel uh, there. Yeah, awesome. All right, well, let's take another look at this, folks. We, I think we built it up quite nicely. We've got a little <laughs> bit of background information on it, um, and take a look at this beautiful piece, my friends. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, everybody, let's start the show. A quick ahoy, hoy, and away. Fig and Flynn's got a pin. The gang's all here, and it's time to begin. Tricky Bricks roll call. Moto, Holly, Kara, and sometimes Blair, Clicky, Logan, Ms. Thing and Angela, and Thunderman Ho! <laughs> now you're here to grab your bricks and let's go to the Tricky Bricks Build and Check Show! <laughs> <laughs> amazing simply so, amazing yeah. um 
if so today on our show she came on from the premiere and we actually if you want to see some really funny stuff she we premiered some of her b-roll like some of the stuff that didn't make it into the, <laughs> in, into it and there was some really hilarious stuff like the Thunderman character she did this whole thing where he goes through the wave and it gets him wet and his hair changes and then he like pulls a brush out and like brushes it back into shape again and then like continues on and there was some really incredible stuff well gosh greg thank you so much for sharing that twice and letting us show that because um it's, it's brilliant i think i think that's one of the first videos like that i've ever i've ever had the privilege of actually being able to show um <laughs> you know, it's almost like having, a, having an exclusive um but anyway someone who did feature on that panel is as they say folks is actually in the green room now so i think it's, it's time it's time to bring her in it is, of course, uh, uh, how can I put it, uh, of, 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 of Tricky Bricks uh, fame. I'm, I'm sure she's in the Tricky Bricks lug. Um, it is, of course, the wonderful Princess Tricky Weasel, Holly. Hey, Holly. Oh, hi. Hey, hi. Hey, Holly. Some of my favorite people have been here. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, how are you doing? Now, now this is, uh, what makes this very special for me, one, you're on here, Holly. But secondly, you're on here during your lunch break as well yeah so thank you so much i really yeah. appreciate it seems a good uh, use of a, of a lunch break i actually need to do some building and some tidying up down here oh i love cool. when holly shows up to streams during lunch break it's the best <laughs> yeah usually <laughs> onboard toys is streaming during my lunch break so i'm over there trying to not be distracted by them <laughs> so on tuesday she bumped the rating of our show well past pg-13 mm -hmm. so <laughs> <laughs> Well, don't go doing that on this one, blimey. Yeah, uh, yeah, well, that's what, that's what Kevin I, said. He's like, he said, save it for London Calling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no way. No yeah, way. Oh, especially, wait. To be fair, Kevin, tell them what you were doing on that stream. Well, we were... <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was it was Other Toy Tuesday, so we and we had a KiwiCo box, which is um the, like, little cardboard... Yeah, dem demonstrate for us. Story. I've got a sticker, like, halfway on the go here, so... I will set it aside gently. Um, and we were building, okay, I had to take some of it apart because I was trying to fix it. But we're building this air pump uh, that you can use to like blow up balloons and stuff. So it has like this plastic tube in it and then you like pump it uh -huh. like this. And um, Holly had lots of clever things to say about it, as I'm sure you can all imagine. <laughs> Hey. That's not, that's for the record, that's not how he was pumping it on Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I came across a website once that was sending things that looks a bit like that. But anyway, we won't go there. Uh, <laughs> uh, Flynn. Flynn, lovely, lovely Flynn. Um, Someone else. Uh, I, I, I believe you've, you've, uh, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to go. I do. I've got to, I actually am like working again. So I have to run um, and go do some stuff, but so excited to come on today for, gosh, it's been a, who it's been a whirlwind past couple of days. What with that new set coming out and then the, you know, premiering our animation today and then being here, it's just been like nonstop fun. So excited to share all that with you. And, and I, Thank you again for letting me share the the, the animation because it really is worthy. I think of many people seeing it. She did such a fantastic yes. job. So mm -hmm. yeah. I'm still in awe and shock and amazing. I know, right? <laughs> oh, it was brilliant. I, I even love the fact, uh, Holly, behind you, uh, you got the Tower Bridge as well. In it. It, it's just brilliant. I love it. Yeah, uh, the London Bridge made stuff. it. <laughs> <laughs> tower bridge, tower bridge. Don't get the British wrong. <laughs> I do that just to. I do that just to <laughs> you. I love it. Don't go well done. Tech tell you to say that. Anyway, yeah. take care, Flynn. Bye, 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 Flynn. See you soon. See you, Flynn. Ah. Okay, the text be naughty now yeah, because I'm sure he's, he said to Holly to do that. So I'm gonna I go didn't say a word. <laughs> I did, you did. If you did, if you did it, you probably wish you had. I wish uh, I had. Yeah, I wish I could put time for it, but I didn't. <laughs> No, he's hurried to me, Holly. Holly's um, the biggest troll there is, it seems. Yeah, I reckon he's in tech text kind of like, you know, silently lurking around. No, 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 um, no, no. All right, I'm going to get in on some of this uh, Speed Champions action. I'm going to build that one. 
Oh, I love so, nice, oh, really nice right. one. It's the Sienna, the McLaren Senna, Senna or Sienna? Senna, I think. But yeah, no, I think it was, yeah. Uh, he, that's a really good build. If, if he was asked to solo brick builder, he says it doesn't look like anything because he loves his cars. <laughs> he, 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 he really knows his car. He's an engineer anyway, so he kind of knows cars inside out. I love that I'm trying to like delicately open this box and it's already trashed. I don't know. <laughs> why. Tr trash away, trash away. Um, I, like really it. I, I could actually build that. I've still got half that house to build, Sai, from our. Um, uh, uh, from our back, back. I, well, I was trying to, but I was getting abused by people. No, you please don't know brick builder as well. Saying you don't build anything. Well, he's kind of right in, in his day. Um, but, oh, tech. Do you mind showing us what that is? That actually looks really cool. Let's pop him in well, the middle. It's funny that you. Uh, you were mentioning your backlog because when I was building this, I can't remember who it was. They might be in the chat because I, I, it was definitely one of the regulars that kind of show up to all our streams. But mm -hmm. they were wondering if Sai could build this on an episode of the backlog, this four plus Mickey set. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and I'll leave, I won't even give myself a head start the night before. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did that this week. And to be honest, Sai, I, I do that as well. So I don't blame you, dude. <laughs> But yeah, um, this is, yeah, it's cool as that. Is is that is that it? Is that is just the set. That um, I mean, the side builds are ridiculous. Uh, you get like a little fuel pump thing, but it does have that Mickey brick on it, which is ah, really well that that's worth having just alone. Isn't that? Is that all yeah. one piece? Yeah, so it's um, it's like a two two by two round plate. Like it's like two two by two round plates, and then you've got like the Mickey extensions on the yeah. On there, so you can just about see it. Or so ears, I don't know. Yeah, or ears, yeah. That, that, thank you. For that. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is why I don't do formal reviews, right? <laughs> <laughs> the Mickey extension sounds just wrong. Yeah, it does. It does sound awful. And then you also get like a little flag as well. It yeah, sounds like Brenda. <laughs> yeah, so it's cool. And the, the figures are really cool. I love that we get in so many different variants of, uh, of Mickey. Um, and they're all like exclusive prints and like they're printed on the, the, the goggles directly onto his mold for this one. The rocket ship one, I can't get it. I can't wait to get the rocket ship. I'm yeah. not into Disney stuff generally or like yeah. Mickey type stuff, but um, the rocket ship's so cool. It's really, I'm into that one too. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, it reminds <laughs> It kind of reminds me of some of the old SpongeBob sets. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of people do like those. A lot of people are buying them oh, up right. now. Like uh, Chris from yeah. Brickin' It, he is. Um, all right, I'll tell you what we do is, Tech, do you mind if we actually uh, look on the Lego website and have a look at some of these Disney sets? And, 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 and you can rock on that. We, we, and I'll just ask Titanium how he's getting on. Yep, that was building good. his well, you're building the Jaguars, aren't you? Or uh, uh, Titanium? How, how do Americans play Jaguars? Oh my god, he's done already. <laughs> he's having a laugh, isn't he? Yeah. Nice. I'm doing I'm the. Um... To buy stickers. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of stickers on these. Oh, yeah. Like, they do look good though. Tech. Yeah, could you remember Scale Electric? I do. Yes. <laughs> the, the the size. Of the new uh, speed champions, really re reminiscent of me uh, with, with scale electric cars. I really think yeah. they're very similar. I yeah, really that's do. true. Do you reckon you could, do you reckon you could uh, attach the scale electric to it, Greg, and uh, get it to get around the track? I, I don't know. I, I see what I could, we could, could if I had a monorail or something like that, that looked quite good. If it did something like that, because you only but, need the like little motor. The little motor in it, yeah. Yeah, it's a motor. And uh, I, sometimes, just to make sure it didn't leave the track, I used to put a matchstick down it. <laughs> a matchstick and a little bit of rolled up tin foil, folks. But please don't try that at home because you've got a big chance of electrocuting yourself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and they don't do that, though. Uh, I just used to do it because uh, I was a poor East Ender. Um, so, uh, Matt, can you give us an update on your painting of the mischievous god that is, of course... Loki. Uh, yep, starting to block it in a little bit more. How's, how's that coming? No. Wow. I, t I tell you what, right? I saw the advert recently for Loki, and it looks, it looks, it looks better than anything that I saw from uh, the, 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 the um, what did it call uh, The Falcon. I, I thought his mouth was better than that. It's yeah, it's, uh, is that, uh, it's 
the lights <laughs> doing weird things with the camera. So yeah, um, still just haven't quite got the eye in right, but yeah, it's it's starting to come together and. Uh, um, yeah, the, the show looks quite interesting, although I, I always see Owen Wilson as quite a young guy, so seeing him with grey hair and things now, it's, it's going to be weird. Yeah, he's old now. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad when you get old, you get a bit grey, get hairy ears. Like most of us, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Titan Titanium's getting old, look at him, look, look. He's, got, he's, he's got all that fluff appeared on his chin. It suits him though, he, he looks good. Oh, here we go. Show Let's us the play feature. Oh, text back. Oh, look, texting twice here. I'm trying to share. I'm just. I'm trying to share my screen from my laptop because uh, okay, my computer yeah. is really slow. So just give us two seconds, and I'll. No, uh, no, 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 no worries. Thank you. Um, so Holly, how are you anyway? I, I do have a question for you, Holly. I do yeah. have a question, and that that question is. So I've got to start kitting out. I say not start. It's going to be. It's going to be about three weeks' time. I've got to start thinking about kitting out a new Lego room uh, that I'm doing. And uh, I'm getting all sorts of ideas from the wonderful plastic architect. And I'm getting ideas uh, from all sorts of people that are just by looking at their Lego rooms, in all honesty. Um, Ikea seems to feature quite heavily. I was going to say, Ikea is your friend. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I might even go to Ikea on Sunday, folks, and, and have a little perusal. I might even take the camera with me as well. But what I've noticed that you have, that Claire, aka the plastic architect, has, is the particular sorting um, pieces in the back there. The, the, I, I don't know what you call them, like a sort of pull out drawers. The tr yeah, so this is the Trofast system. I know you were asking about somebody's sorting drawers that was a different mm -hmm. one was the Alex. So the Alex is the one that has the drawers that doesn't have, they're not like tubs. Yes. They're this lovely. They're yeah, lovely. These are the, this is like the tub system, which I kind of prefer just because I can pull them out and put them yeah. on my put them on my build table and kind of stack them up and they have lids and they're a little more versatile for me, even though they're not the best use of like full volume of the space. Yeah. 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 Okay. And they're oh. stacked. I actually, so I had to kind of hack this system together because I like everything to be standing height because I'm usually not sitting so much when I'm building because I'm constantly kind of getting up and grabbing parts. So I have yeah. right now in front of me, the table that I'm using is actually a kitchen island that's also from Ikea. And we moved it from our old house that we used to use it as a kitchen island. We didn't need it in our new house. So I brought it down here as a build table. And then I had to build everything else up to the same sort of standing counter height. So I put wall units. Those those true fast systems are, are wall units on top of the base system so that's why they're taller and deeper i see because mm -hmm. i was looking at the alex system because it was, it was it was a stream in the week wasn't it maybe it was a tricky book stream or something i can't remember where but you yeah there, i right? think it was aubrey's system oh yeah that was it that was that one yeah aubrey was on there that was it cool honestly i watched so many streams i forget which ones i see yeah. um yeah. but yeah, you use you was quick to answer the question which i, I was really grateful for thank you sure. um so so I looked at the Alex system. The Alex is there. They actually do some quite nice tables. So I was thinking, oh, I might get myself uh, like an electronic table, a stand-up, sit-down uh, desk. Yeah. Which I thought would be really good, but they're, they're quite expensive, um, and uh, for like twenty-five percent of the cost, you actually get yourself quite a nice Alex table as well. Yeah. So I don't know, I'm kind of I'm play, playing around with factoring that. Yeah, and my table my tabletops are super cheap. There's actually two of them. I don't know how well I can like you can kind of see how they go end to end there. Oh, hold on. Let, let me make it a little bit bigger. So okay. can... sorry, it's messy in here, but um so that's I'm kind of sitting right at the seam. The seam is like right under let's see which way can I go. There you go. You can sort of see mm -hmm. their seam together there. Nice right yeah. under the shelves. Um, but there's there's two big long tables just <laughs> Yeah. Sitting on top of the, the Trofast system and they're super cheap. I think they were like less than 50 bucks each. Yeah. Oh, cool. And I love the way I, I've only just realized it because you moved your head. Um, that Tower Bridge is actually oh, yeah. kind of taking Bridging up the gap. gap. Love it. You've got the Thames so cool. taking up the gap. I love it. Yeah, because so those cool. shelves have, you know, because I had to anchor them in pretty solidly, I had to anchor them into the studs and the way that the studs are spaced left that little gap there. So naturally that was the best place for it brilliant <laughs> yeah that is honestly that's yeah. very very cool now ted how are you getting on with this um yes uh, disney malarkey here we go is that right is that working 
Yeah, I get, let me let me add it, and then we we can see. Bear with us, folks. We're, we've got the technology. I promise you. We 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 got one to go. Look at that. We've got. Oh, look at him twice. He's a clone. <laughs> <laughs> I love the head action. Cool. Are you, you gonna add the uh, add the share screen in or? Um, share screening well I, I can i can make it bigger do you want me to just make it bigger and you talk us through it oh Which right oh I thought, you were gonna, I thought you wanted me to share the screen that's why i've joined twice oh yes yeah, so share his muted screen so i'll make that bigger is that yeah. what you're talking about absolutely not no i've, I've literally <laughs> shared oh, you're, you're here twice I he, wants to show, he wants to show the website i'm literally sharing my like my website screen it should be as another option. No. He's oh, right. streaming. Something else has just popped in. Oh, solos just popped in. So how many, how many solos? <laughs> there can only be one solo. The, 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 a trio of the, solos. You can't have a trio of solos. It can never be done. It, it hence the name. Um, <laughs> all right, Tech, do you want me to keep you on there twice? <laughs> yeah. Not really, no. no. Okay. Make one of the we should be better looking Tech, everyone. This <laughs> one. one. Right? Don't look away. This one, <laughs> or his good-looking twin. This one. I think that one's better looking, to be yeah, honest. I like yeah. him. He's got better. Cut. He's a better camera. The camera never lies. Anyway, let's get rid of him. It's quite the sauna party you've got going right, on. I know. It is. <laughs> it is. Where, where was that invite? Um, anyway, let's get rid of him. Let's get rid of the imposter, so to speak. And uh, uh, Menarch says, "Greg, uh, call your entourage to help." <laughs> He's making his own. Uh, anyway, let's bring him in, folks. It's the man with the van. Really appreciate him being here actually tonight because he was in a traffic jam about two hours ago. Uh, God bless him. Uh, he's, of course, our good friend. He's, he's never missed an episode. Uh, God bless him. He is, of course, Darren, aka Solo Brick Builder. Hey, can I come Hi. to the sauna party? Am I invited? Can you see the pause? <laughs> can you prepare us for that next time, please? <laughs> no, I leave it as a surprise. Oh. Uh, Tech, are you going to work on that page? Well, or are you giving up? Are you giving up I was literally sharing my screen. All you had to do was add it to stream. But I, we can talk through it. We can talk through it. Yeah, I, no, I, can, I, can, I, I can see the it. it was you. You Just literally describe what you're seeing. Tim. Yeah, <laughs> I can see Lego. I can see Disney. Um, no, okay. So um, out of the new Disney, uh, like the Mickey and Friends sets that are coming out, there's um, Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck's Farm, which is twenty eight pound. Um, Donald's got his own tractor, which looks really cool. Um, and you get a Lego horse in there as well. Mickey's in some farmer gear. Um, that looks really nice. And there's some really nice curved pieces um, mm -hmm. with some, like, barn uh, style effect on. So that looks really good. Um, I did, I've did. i literally just seen that we're getting a Belle and Beast castle. Uh, that's mm. like, yeah. thing, But that looks incredible. So That's where those new uh, candelabra pieces are coming from. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, that that's really nice. And where's all the other stuff going? Those are going to be useful. Those are going to be useful build pieces. Yeah, for sure. I, I tell you what, I'm going to do. Right, I'll see if I can share my screen because you know what you're talking about, Tech. I don't, so <laughs> I, I'll, I'll see if we can share it and you talk us through it. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah that's cool. we're going to get a second shot of Greg here. Let's go. Let's go. No, you, you don't want me twice, blimey. Uh, you scared the one. One Greg is more than enough. <laughs> uh, wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, tech, you're so naughty to me. Um, anyway, let's let's do this. I even I even got myself. I even put a nice set on there for him to start off hey, with. Uh, why are you in America? That's not. That's not it. <laughs> I know, but he likes that. I'm going to change my region for some reason. They put me in. Uh, where should we? Should we go somewhere a bit weird? Should we go to the Middle East or something like that? Um, so, right. So for some reason, uh, so when the monkey kid. Uh, latest wave of sets come out i looked on the china version of lego once to see if i could see like prices and see if the promo was available online turns out they don't have an online shop every time i go into the lego store uh, or type in lego.com it will automatically take me to the chinese website it's so annoying, oh, that's annoying. 
Just That's clear out your cookies. That's what I was going to say. Just delete that cookie. Don't that give them good. solutions. <laughs> <laughs> he's a techie guy. He doesn't do a lot of tech. But anyway. Apparently not. <laughs> yeah, apparently no, not. even he will admit to that. He will admit to that. Bless him. Yeah, um, admit. Anyway, let's go. Let's find some. Uh, let's find some Disney stuff, shall we? Uh, if I click on that, that takes us to some Disney sets. Here we go. We need a uh, Winnie the Pooh. Uh, I always forget that Winnie the Pooh's Disney. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's coming to ideas. <laughs> As a branch, but yeah, it's no, uh, it didn't. It's been around since before Star Wars. No, nothing's been around since before Star Wars. <laughs> it was. It was a Lego no, existing before Star Wars. Wars. What are you talking about, Ollie? Uh, <laughs> nothing That's was here before. We're Star not here Wars. for accurate information. I'm that old that I can remember <laughs> yeah. a time before Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, if you want accurate information, go watch Jang. <laughs> 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 All right, let's, uh, let's what kind of is this? What um, are we looking at here? Um, this is uh, Bruni, Bruno, Bruni. I haven't seen yeah. the do, but Isn't that from the uh, next movie that's coming up? What I tell you? Is that from the, for the new movie that's coming up, isn't it? That's from the second one. Is it from the second one, is it? Yeah. Tech, why, why has he got big eyes like that? Is, he, is, he, is that why his name's Bruni? It's, it's <laughs> do, you know what really, okay, do you know what really bothers me with that set? Is the fact that they've not mirror printed the eyes so that if like and that's why they only show one eye because if you look at him like dead on with two eyes he's boss-eyed and he's looking in all different directions and it's <laughs> it but horrible. it's a circle isn't that accurate like, though you can just oh no you can't rotate no, you can't it's the way yeah. it, it's horrible i dare someone to get it. it i wanted to throw it at the wall and it's a wait really so it's cool. not so those are like those <clears throat> eye pieces oh, okay they have studs on them yeah wait i mean challenge accepted tech i don't understand so, like, um, so imagine putting there. that on the other side. The eye, the the eyeball is gonna face like kind of off. But that's isn't that accurate though? Isn't that how their eyeballs work? Aren't they in opposite directions? Oh, one looks I, one way, one looks another. They, they can't work like that, Holly. Right. Right. I don't know. I don't know if it it's might be accurate, new. but. <laughs> But I know the, I know the designer of the set, by the way. <laughs> that's not the pupil, though, Tech. That's just the reflection, so it shouldn't matter. No. Who's there's the designer? Reason, okay, okay. There's a reason. It was Gemma. Why. Gemma was the oh. designer. There's a there's a reason why they haven't showed the, this set looking head on. I just, there's just if you look at it, if you've got it, he's then... just mad that that white dot won't be. Wait, that looks right in that one. Yeah, though. but that's not how it is. That's, that's okay, I'm gonna bad. go build it. Are, are those marshmallows? <laughs> yes. Yeah, they are my oh, I, like I, I love I love the set. I think it's a great design, but the the fact that the eyes aren't mirrored, so it's not. Can't you just rotate it ninety degrees? It, so it's a it's a um it it never works out because the eyes like set further back. Um, it's not, like the 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 eye isn't central to the the dish that it's on. Yeah. And then, yeah. I think you're too focused on this tech. It's uh, yeah, uh, it, really, it, really, it, it creeps me out. It creeps me out. <laughs> that sounds like a new problem. problem. Oh yeah. It, it is a very much a me problem. Um <laughs> and it caused many sleepless nights, nice, Kevin. So <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should try going with it earlier. Mum is like a to love playing with it and taking it apart. I bet, I bet, though, I bet kids, first thing kids do is pull out the eyeballs. It's cool. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like he's got mixed mitosis or something. Um, but anyway, it's a design. The eyes, the, it's a nice printed eye, anyway. Um, Tang, what are we looking at here? This looks yeah, so this is the this is the most expensive one, uh, forty four ninety nine here in the UK. This is the one that I picked up today. Uh, the first set that we get Pluto in uh, with like the minifigure scale, which is uh, which is awesome. Goofy there has got um, his own printed torso. He's got like an apron on. Bit of a shame they didn't carry that apron onto the legs, but. I mean, it's what it is, and like I said, those Mickey and Minnie uh, helmets on the on there—they're actually like in the mold. It's not like a separate piece that you that you kind of add on. So that looks really good. Some really good printed elements, um, and then some like hidden Mickey's and stuff uh, printed above the windows of each of the uh, in the fire station. Um, there's actually a little um, a fireman's pole as well that you can uh, let your figure kind of drop down from as well. So. That's really, oh, excuse me, that's really nice. Um, and then the, the idea is that Goofy's doing a barbecue and uh, he's set it on fire. Oh, oh blimey, what's going on there? Look at that. Yeah, they've done that to me yesterday. they done that to me yesterday yeah, as well. It does that to me all the time. Hey, Tech, what are these characters here? They look very skinny. Uh, they're cool. they're I wingers, Greg. 
They're wieners. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. So I don't know what a wiener is, folks. I'm, I'm, I'm far too modest to know stuff like that. Um, <laughs> anyway, this uh, this this. Uh, <laughs> In one of the images, Goofy is like double fisting. I know this is. Does, does <laughs> anyone say that there are goose in my streams or something? Uh, Lander got it in for me. I, I, I know what, you know what? I should have done what Kevin suggested. He said, don't do 69, go straight to 70. Uh, <laughs> I should have, I should have honestly I should have uh, I should have followed up with that. And, I'm just calling uh, it like I see it. It can only go down from here. <laughs> Holly, you, you've changed, Holly. Uh, <laughs> no, I haven't either. <laughs> Flynn's gone. She can party now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely. Flynn's gone. She's, if Flynn watches this back, he'll be shocked. He won't um, either. <laughs> oh, now, this I do like the look of because it reminds yeah, so this me. This is the rocket. Eighteen pounds. Sure this is one, a shocker. This seems better value than the fire station. I'll be honest, and it's like half the price. I um, want that set immediately. Yeah. Yeah. But look at yes. Space Mickey and Minnie. They look so, so good. good. So, what, what is this? What is that thing there with it with one eye? What's that? Just an alien. I, I was, I've not seen any of this art or this art style that I'm assuming these these are based on. These are like the most recent uh, Disney animations. I've not watched them. Um, uh, uh, yeah, but, so I'm assuming they're pulled from that and not just uh, like completely random stuff. But yeah, this is really cool. I love Mickey and Minnie, and it, there's like some really cool printed um, leg pieces in there as well. Uh, yeah, it just looks really, really good. And then you get that they got piece. something like that in Learn with oh. Mickey on the, on the uh, okay, another one of those pepperoni thingies. Over and there. a wiener, yeah, what, what, a wiener what? and a bat. Yeah. I tell you what, you know, you're in a bat. <laughs> right. yeah. I, I think this is a really cool looking set. Actually, I like that. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. And you get one of those um those base plates, like the the four plus base plates uh, along the bottom there, always quite cool with the curved edges. Yeah. yeah. Is that is, is that a sticker or is that a printed piece there? Yeah, all prints. Print. All prints in four, four plus. plus. Yeah. Four yeah. Plus. Oh. Any stickers? So like all that rocket detail. Yeah. Is is really really good. I think, I think really, honestly, I think this is going to be a like a little classic one to get. Yeah, they're going to be collectible. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. So Sorry, nice. I'll, I'll move you on that. Route. Um, what have we got here? Uh, Menard, Menard said something a moment ago that made me laugh. Uh, it, 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 yeah, I'm trying, Menard. I'm trying. They, 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 keep dra they keep dragging me down. I'm trying to be good tonight. Uh, I'm trying to make this one of those streams that if I get into land, I'll say, guys, watch this one. Even though Cy was on it, he was actually okay. quite. Uh, he was quite good guy. He was well, good. Apparently, apparently, I'm the one that's horrifying everybody in the chat. You are, Holly. It's, 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 it's like, I'll get Holly on safe as houses. Uh, she'll keep everyone in check. And then, what does she do? She leads us all down the garden. I thought this Greg, was a safe to... place. <laughs> <laughs> Holly's you getting a free pass to be bold now. Yeah. Anyway, you know I am a certified member of Sausage Lug, right? <laughs> What's going on here? They, they, um, wow. That is a smile. Wow. That is a big smile, isn't it? It's like it's like the it's like guys do the biggest grin uh, you can physically as possible. Um, mm -hmm. That's not about the poor kid that's just having some fun with some Lego. And so he, he, he yeah, or he would just ask, "Do the biggest smile you can give us?" Yeah, and I think he like looks awesome. <laughs> I'm also uh, uh, hoping that they're not records that are over there on that shelf because that <laughs> isn't how you, according to Cy, that isn't how you stack records. Um, anyway, let's let's move on to another another Disney set. Oh god, they got big again. Uh, I must learn how to use a web browser. Sorry, folks. Um, if it was on your it, iPad, you wouldn't have a problem, would you? Guys? Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, I tell you, that was a, that was a cheap one. Tech that was cheap. It really was. He gets a tech team to work that though. <laughs> He's a tech team, yeah. yeah. Um, actually moving a mouse is not actually plugged in he's got his entourage doing doing all this yeah. um, basically what's happened folks one of my 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 my, my technicians remoted in and he does all this i just simply sit here and talk that's all i do um anyway um now so this, this is just like a monkey kid set isn't it <laughs> do you know what that's not a bad shout yeah it's pretty uh yeah. pretty except it, this one's a, 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 a mickey kid set does that make sense? No. You're right. It actually looks just like it looks like this little guy here. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Nice. Nice, Holly. Oh. 
Yes. Yeah, you hey, can always have monkey shit within reach. Yes, mm-hmm. Disney rip off. That's what it is. <laughs> Disney. Rip-off. Anyway, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make uh, uh, Holly a little bit smaller there because in case she gets all abusive again on me. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's go somewhere else. What did I say? Look at that look, you, CGI. Do we need to uh, remind you of the words? Wait till you get to the picture and you will see what I mean. <laughs> uh, let's, let's find another another set quickly. Uh, He's dancing around it, Holly. He's dancing I'm, I'm around it. Holly's making me nervous because I, 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 I've never seen her like this before. You get 30 more minutes till my lunch break is up, guys. <laughs> oh, Everyone brace themselves for 30 minutes. Uh, and what's going on here? Then? This is Tuplo, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's Tuplo. Yeah, that's that's been out for a while now. Um, that's the train from Toy Story 3. Um, from the opening sequence when Andy's uh, Andy's playing, and that's like the, the, the opening uh, sequence. Imagination. This is old Steven Spielberg over there. Um, <laughs> me. I don't think so, Greg. Because <laughs> yeah, he was only watching it before the stream. <laughs> I watch it every night before bed. <laughs> every night before bed. We we only watch it through the opening scene before he falls asleep. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, that is such a uh, like a dramatic entrance to a to a film about some toys, isn't it? Toy Story yeah. Toys. Toys are serious it. business. Toys are very serious business, as we so, all know. That's, yeah, that is a good point, Kevin, actually. Toys aren't just for kids. They're not just for Christmas, folks. Um, should we have a look at anything else? Um, there is, there's a, uh, I think there's a couple more of those Disney sets that you might have uh, missed. Yeah, the, the Mini and go, go up to the top there. Oh. Top middle, uh, Mini and Daisy's ice cream shop. I, it wasn't a cafe, sorry, it's an ice cream shop. Oh, hello. So, um, another couple of exclusive uh, Daisy and Mini. I think this is the fourth variation of Mini. No, fit, uh, sixth. Sixth variation of mini, I believe. Are it's you collecting the, the, these particular figures? I mean, yeah. At this point, I'm getting all the all the Disney figures for sure. I've got all them all up. So now <laughs> anyway, so. Oh, I, I love you, Tech. Uh, and do you know what I really liked about your, or about you actually, um, was, was all that Disney stuff you did over December, Disney December, folks. Check was, it out. Yeah, it was good fun. That was good fun. Wow. Did, you, did you manage to get you didn't quite do one every uh, every day, but you did I, most of the months, didn't you, mate? I did. Uh, I did like. 14 uploads, I think, um, in the space before uh, before Christmas. So yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. Some of them were like me taking the whole day out to build like the castle or the train. So they were like they took up a lot more time than uh, than intended and stuff. But but yeah, I want to uh, I want to get my um, Disney collection all laid out because I've got some older stuff as well. I've still got a, a few sets to build, uh, and then I'll do my like Disney collection. That's very cool. That's very cool. Now, um, I, 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 caught a, I, I caught a man there building, or having built, a pretty cool-looking Lamborghini. Uh, yeah, this was a very satisfying build. Oh. Um, a lot of good techniques. That, like, yeah. angle on the front hood is great. Right there. Yeah. It does look um, cool. And something, I, like, I didn't know was there. That angle, I don't know if you can see it, this kind of side panel is actually angled down ever so slightly, yeah. using like a Technic pin, and it's amazing. Just it's, add it like a little bit of space between it and the bottom. And You've done a fine job, Kevin, of putting those stickers on. Take care, Will. Look after yourself, dude. Oh, I'm an amazing sticker person when I put them on right side up. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. They're always aligned well, but somehow... Wasn't that, the, like that was the instructions fault, Kevin? No, yeah. On the other one. On the other one. But I've done it before on my own. Oh, I'm still didn't my, have to admit I'm that. Still prepping a drama video about that one. Yeah. Oh. How, how uh, tech? Um, tech. Yeah. Have you? Um, so, what was the other vehicle that you built today? So, was it was it the fire engine as well, or was it the fire the, engine and the plane? Can we have a look at the fire engine? Yeah, there's not much to it. So, this is Minnie's. Uh, hang on, let me um, and, and put this other camera on. I noticed you didn't show the picture of the of the official Lego I picture. You, I told you he dances around it. He won't show it. He oh, dance. Well, no, there's a new angle. That's that's different as well. Oh, yeah. Brickham's dead. T-t-t- your daughter's got excellent taste, my friend. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. Look, Ted looks like Reed Richards now with exceptionally long arms. That looks good. Yeah. What is that? Is that a fire engine? Yeah, it's just a four plus orange. These tires and wheels are actually one piece. They're not like separate. No tires, way. Which I thought. Are they like dual molded? 
I, I guess so. I would assume they wouldn't glue them, but they've had, they've got a pretty cool design on the other side as well. All right. Tech, did you just tip? If, if you're going to show that angle in future, can you make your bed? Make my bed, yes, yes. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Tech Productions. He's got a mouth on him, isn't he? I purposely moved the, the screen round because I got caught out earlier. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> And take that, that message you sent me in the week made me laugh. It really did. Um, <laughs> but noted, by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, t- talking of, of notes, um, terrible segue. Sorry, I can't really do anything with it. You're going to start paying us for growing up. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> I, I know. I, I, I pay for notes. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a typical builder. Pop your mod on the counter. That's what you say, isn't it? Every, every Friday. I'm going to get myself down to the Lego store. Burn some reddies. Uh, was that, I thought I just heard a pop then. Did someone just pop in? Uh, anyway, Solo. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. It's you. Uh, oh, I've got to try and find something. I've got to find oh, yeah, something. Yeah, you've got to find that. I, I've got to do that. Yeah, I just, I've just, I just looked at him. I just thought, oh, yeah. Uh, so, Solo. <laughs> Um, this, this is quite a good little surprise I've got coming up here. Um, so tell us about your day because he, he sent me a picture about two or three hours ago, folks. And um, I mean, it, it looked like he was, I think he was insinuating uh, that he was in a traffic jam. Personally, uh, I think he, I, I think he was in a car park. But anyway, um, did, was that a jam? Did, did I read? Did I read that correctly? It, it, it's the M25. Of course, it's a car park. <laughs> 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 The, the, the road to hell, the road to hell, it really is. Um, Three so, and a half hours. Tell, us, well, tell, us, half tell hours. us about what you've been up to. Um, I, I've, been, I've been sat on the M25, that's what <laughs> I've been up to. <laughs> okay, with some references to Lego, because uh, I'm trying to find something. I'm trying to kill some time here. Okay, well, Tug, oh. I think you're crazy, because this looks fine to me. Oh, no, my God. Up, no. Look at the eyeballs on this. It looks, it looks like side back in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes, the That's how it should look, though. No, 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 no. And oh, the okay. eye, up, the, okay, so the eye on your left is, like, right at the front of the, the print, but on the other one, right. it's, like, right at the back. It's because it's a reflection. Don't their, don't their eyes move independently anyway? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. But yeah. It's still, yeah. It's still, like, like, I used to think this was too much Budweiser. <laughs> right. uh, and also, it's anymore. super ridiculously adorably cute. It is I really cute. I'm going to be defending Gemma's honor, and also, I think she's even from London or somewhere around there. So, oh, okay. Well, she's lovely then. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, need to, I need to find out the the the, the, the original origin story. Um, I, I, I got I it. Now oh, that, that is a nice piece, actually. That's a bit yeah. psychedelic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like oh, thing. that's really nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's oh. pretty much why I bought the set right there. <laughs> wow. Is that a brick and piece? <laughs> nice. Oh, that and the and the feet. Look at the little feet, little blue flower feet. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, that's great. And that's like a, like, like a car that hood, angle, right? At that angle, it looks like you're tugging on its tail too much. And he's like, ah! <laughs> I like it. He's cute. Yes. You, you build quite a lot of Lego, Holly. You really do. Um, <laughs> I do. Put me to shame, that's for sure. Anyway, um, Sai, did you fancy telling us a little bit about the news this week or anything like that? Because I think it's covered. We covered everything. Um, the, the big thing was really the Everyone is Awesome set. Um, yeah. And that's just like the best thing, you know, to come out of Lego for probably ever, really. Um, <laughs> I like that. It was pretty good. <laughs> I mean, Tech was uh, showing us all the other cool things, the, the Disney stuff. There's nothing really in the their pipeline that we can actually talk about here at the moment. So, yeah, so uh, everyone is awesome, is awesome, and uh, I can't wait to get a few of them. And whoever's yeah, coming in, watch the door. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try and get it on day one. Yeah, if I'm yeah. in London, and I, I am, it's kind of, how can I put it, folks, scheduled. Uh, to be in London, um, I'm going to um, I'm going to get it and then build it on Wednesday. So I, I think I can actually build a set as as large or as small as you might want to call it. Depends, you know, depends how big your hands are, I suppose. Isn't that right, Tech? Uh, and uh, Holy. Uh, I take it from there. 
Well, I didn't say nothing. I, well, I didn't, didn't say anything either. She looked at the camera and raised her eyebrows up and down. Honestly, <laughs> hey, if Flynn was if Flynn was watching this, you'd you, be cast away. The, the only reason you'd go back in there is because he doesn't want to spoil his new intro sequence. I <laughs> said <laughs> <laughs> you're all contracted in. Well, that's Gary. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make a Holly parody version. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> uh, there's some pictures I can show folks, and there's some pictures I can't. Have you sent that to Kevin? No, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> Send it to Kevin and say, Kev, could, should this have been the alternative thumbnail? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I tell you what, folks, Tech has just sent me a better thumbnail than he's come up with recently, I tell you, on his channel. <laughs> Okay, well I now have, we have to see. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I'm not going to show it. I can't. I can't, folks. It, you have to. Thing. You have to. You can. You've got to show it now. I can't. <laughs> Holly, I you can. can. I can't. <laughs> Honey, if I did that, I'd be dis I'd be disowned and everything. I wouldn't get anyone uh, on this saddle ever again. Uh, all I can say is, though, uh, they look like they were having jolly good fun. Tech. That's all I can say. Um, uh, send it to Sai and Ke whoever. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm trying. I'm looking. For, I'm trying to look for a particular picture actually, and Tech is just. And I'm looking on a uh, a thread uh, that he sent me. No, I sent him because I, I I saw this person and I said, "Does this person remind you of anyone?" And he went, "Oh my god!" Uh, so <laughs> oh, I'm just going to try hell, and find this go. person now. Now, Solo, you are you're into Star Trek, aren't you? You are actually into Star Trek. Yeah, I don't mind Star Trek. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind Star Trek. Yeah, all right. Try not to sound too uncommitted about that. It's just turned up at his house and saying, "You do pay your taxes, don't you, Solo?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not feel yeah, like but it. to be fair to Solo, it sounds like you're leading him up the garden path somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm, not, I'm just saying he does. It's a fact. I think he does. I, I say you like Star Trek, don't you? I do. I do. I like Star Trek as well. Nothing wrong with these folks. I, honestly, I'm just trying to make a making conversation. Um, I'm just wondering where the bloody hell this is going well. to. Yeah. Well, apparently, I'm not allowed to make conversation, so I'm just going to be over here building. <laughs> no, Holly. Holly <laughs> most of the time, say, it's me, Holly. So you're lucky, <laughs> Holly. It's I'm going to put you in the middle because uh, you're like uh, Mrs. Naughty. <laughs> you're on the naughty spot uh you are and, uh, this is the naughty spot uh, yeah tech, tech that picture by the way has just saved itself to my camera roll god <laughs> god help me if it synchronizes uh with, with, with the rest of my stuff because my, fa my my family are uh, synchronized with that and um i've got a nephew who's just turned well, 13 then, yesterday well then i expect a letter of thanks from the rest of the family <laughs> Tech, you horrid. They can uh, thank me. Really put right. it in the private chat. Put it in the private chat. No, don't put it in the private chat. Private chat. Uh, Holly, it's rude. Uh, you can't post pictures in the private chat, can you? No. No, thank you. There's a reason for that, Tech. <laughs> um, very good reason. Yeah. Good, good call. Well, good call. Well, can, I, can I just, I don't know if you've already talked to Kevin, but I think he has to go soon. No. 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 Oh, I sorry. Don't. Kevin. No worries. Kevin. Hey. Kevin, I've been trying to give you ears this whole time. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. Here we go. Oh, oh, look, oh, look, oh, look, oh, look, oh, there we go. Hello, my name is Holly, and I say dirty words. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say anything. I have said I know, nothing. I know. This entire thing, you You're guys right, are just. I, yeah, is yeah. it me, though, right? With, with the tower, London, the tower bridge behind Holly, they look like little devil horns. The same. <laughs> the same. Um, um, yes, I have to pick up a Lego order. Today's my last day to go pick it up, and the store closes soon. So um, I'll go pick that up. But this was lovely, of course. <laughs> Until Holly time. showed up. Yeah, say like you mean it. <laughs> oh, no, it made it even better, Holly, obviously. <laughs> I, I've got to be honest, it's been very quiet. I mean, it, it, I mean, how's your tinnitus, by the way? What? How's your tinnitus? Tinnitus? I don't know what well, you're yeah. talking about. Okay, in, in England, we call it tinnitus. Americans, Canadian, septinitis. Uh, <laughs> I stand corrected. Do you, do, you, sorry, do you know what tinnitus is? I do, but I don't know why you're asking me that. Okay, because oh. Brenda's not there. Oh. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> 
Oh, good man. I love you. Um, now, before you go, my friend, right, you came out with a very good vlog today. It made me laugh. It gave me a little bit of road rage as well. Um, but before you go, give, give your um, – oh, and please don't take this the wrong way, folks, honestly. Don't, plug yourself. That's all I'm going to say. Plug your channel. And, uh, plug yourself or someone else will. Yeah, 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 probably tech. <laughs> So um, I put up a vlog. Did I put up a vlog yesterday too? Was that yesterday? I think I put one up yesterday. Brenda put one up today. Uh, she's been busy making uh, some exclusive I'm Bored Toys uh, uh, prototypes for merch from our uh, from our very uh, amazing fans who have demanded amazing merchandise. So. Um, Come check that out. We'll be wearing those on stream tomorrow. So we stream at 3 p.m. Eastern time uh, tomorrow and uh, every Saturday. Um, and tomorrow I'm building the second half of the Monkey Kid drone copter set. And that is my last Monkey Kid set. So I will be done. Oh. With, I, there's a couple of poly bags I don't have, but with the main sets, I have all of those and they're all built. <laughs> so that'll be the last one. For now, um, until they come out with more. One would hope, yes. Yeah. Um, what else? Other Toy Tuesday is coming up on Tuesday. I don't know what we're doing though, I forget. She got me a Spirograph, we might play with that. Uh, not to spoil the vlog or anything. Um, oh, I'm hosting Mockumentary on Monday. Um, so if you check those out with me and with Tech and with Claire, um, and I'm gonna be working on a roller coaster uh, for Brick Huntress's Build Let's Build It Challenge. Um, it's they're doing let's build an amusement park and um, I'm gonna build my roller coaster finally That's so cool or I'll build a roller coaster of some kind so I'll start from scratch and we'll get going from that but otherwise that's it so you know go subscribe to the channel etc and um, we'll see you uh, we'll see you soon see you later right. Kevin bye, bye everybody bye, Good to see you. Take care the coffee me. great to see yeah. you my friend bye chat <laughs> Oh. Did you guys happen to catch um, Boone's new? If you guys know Boone, right? Boone builds. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Did you to... did you happen to catch his new segment last night that he kicked off? The... No. What was that? Tell us about that. Uh, he's he's going to be doing segments on Thursday. Well, Thursday evening for us. I guess it's going to be kind of like middle of the night for you guys. But um, obviously, you can go back and watch. But it's a live live stream on Thursday evening specific time. Um, so it was me and. Moto and Bricks O'Brien, they kicked it off last night with him. Uh, and speaking of cars, I built the little, this cute little four plus Batmobile on the stream. So oh. cute. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. That is pretty cool, actually. Blimey, it's, it's massive compared to the Batman. I mean, it should be, I think. I think that's about right. It is a car. Yeah, kind of like it. I mean, I like the chunky, like four plus builds anyway. And actually, the coolest part of the set, I think, is this Batgirl with the like short double-sided cape? Mm. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that is very cool. She yeah. came in this month's um, uh, superhero magazine as well. With the same cape? Uh, yes, I believe oh, so. That's cool. I believe so. I can go and grab it in a minute. Uh, we, we can see. Um, I've, got it, I've got it. Got it next to my bed to read. <laughs> that's about, that's about as miniature as I get into it. Really is, folks. Honestly. Um, <laughs> But yeah, anyway, let's try, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to find this channel, and I think I found it. It does help if you actually look on the right channel um, yeah. to, to, to actually find what I'm trying to uh, show off here. But let's... So uh, been waiting for ages of this, Greg. You've proper built this up. I'm dying of old age here. <laughs> I'm, try, I'm, trying to, uh, I'm trying to find the, the, the thumbnail. Oh, here we go, anyway. I've got the, I've got the thumbnail. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just share it. But anyway, is it me right folks or does this actually remind you of anyone so anyway let's, let's try and while i'm saying that let's try and share it first and then you can see what i'm talking about uh and it is this here who does this remind you of <laughs> darren that is darren isn't it yeah he's got another channel i thought that was him <laughs> at home. that's crazy look for you darren I, I I genuinely right thought that Darren has come up with a new way of doing these thumbnails. That looks like Darren after having after he's had a good week of sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
He does. He's, wow. uh, I, I should sleep more if I'm getting 12 million views. Yeah, I should <laughs> sleep more, shouldn't I? Wow. Imagine that. But yeah, it's it's pretty cool, isn't it? Now the reason I thought don't ask me, right? But I th the reason I thought this is this is where it went all wrong is because when I took the screenshot of it, it was above him was a Star Trek advert, and I thought it, I thought it was um, I thought it was Trek set Trek Trek culture, um, but I got that completely wrong. But yeah, I, I honestly, uh, Soda, you've got a, you've got a double ganger. Yeah. I should reach out, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I've got Can Trek <laughs> He goes, my uncle. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, I thought, oh, God, I, honestly, what he says. Uh, my uncle's family is Tipex. The body says, there's no suspicion. So, but I'm beginning to suspect a cover up. Oh. <laughs> Most people wouldn't even know what Tipex is. Cabbage. I have no idea what that is. What is that? Um, it's like a white liquid corrector for pen. Oh, white, white out. out. Yeah. White out. White out. That's mm -hmm. it. White out. Read the, one, read the one that you put out a bit before, uh, Greg. I put in the private chat. In the private chat, let's yeah. have a look. Then, private chat. Um, it was... <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'll go along with that, but I'm not going to read it out, though. Tech. Oh, come on! Oh, no, come I'm on. Read it out. Oh, All come I'm going to say is it's episode um, 69. Come on, live a little. No, no, <laughs> no. Oh, Tech, God, you do it. This. this isn't like one of your highlights. One, tell, tell us about. This, oh, here we go. Say it. Your hair smells no. No, 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 you don't. No. <laughs> I don't know why I made it big. I should be muting him, if anything. Blimey. Um, you got you got more Sorry, chance of me showing that picture, that thumbnail you sent me. Oh, um, do you know what? Either way, I'd be happy with either one, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you would. I bet you would, Tech. <laughs> Have you sent it to Sai? Oh, yeah, I put it in um, yeah, in the, the Darth Leecher Appreciation Society. Oh, have to look. Oh, okay. Um, all I can say is thank God, Princess Tricky Weasel. Well, okay, Holly, where's Princess Tricky Weasel come from? Tell me about it. I thought I'd explain it. So, everyone was getting tripped up on the whole H. Walkman username, which isn't my name anyway. Most people just call me Holly, but Princess Tricky Weasel is like the assigned Lego name. You know how you get like the three random words? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, username. And I actually like mine. It's pretty appropriate. So I was like, forget it. I'll forget H. Walkman. It's too hard. I'll just start using my Lego. Oh, that makes sense. No. I'm interested to know what everyone's Lego assigned username is. Me too. Yeah. I it's am, sort of some conversation I'm... lately. <laughs> Yeah. How, how do you work out an assigned name then, Tech? They, they, what are I your... think it's most common on ideas, isn't it? Like, it yeah, always, it's your it Lego, always, your yeah. Lego login will, should tell you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, mine's auntie something or other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all right, fair um, mine's farmer Mary Snake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Mary Snake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's such a roman um titanium what would yours be or what is yours I hold say? on i've i've forgotten it I'm yeah you don't get to choose you get what you're yeah, that's it. this is it. It, it it's it's your birthright yeah where do you find it again it's just your lego.com login mm -hmm. it should be under your profile or something it's like a, some kind of verification thing to make sure that it's you yeah. yeah, I know I've got like lizard man head or something. Um, <laughs> lizard. I hope so. <laughs> and I think it was Miss Something Spider at some stage. How many logins do you have? Yeah, so, so I single handedly uh, altering Lego ideas. He's got 10,000 accounts. <laughs> <It's just laughs> yeah. How many ideas. of those Lego coins did you get this week, Sai? Gosh, <laughs> where, where were you when I was like. I got 69. Oh, sorry, how many coins did you get there, Sire? 69. <laughs> Shouldn't he be uh, in the middle? I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, Greg, I guess I guess. I'm always a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Best way to be in this, side. Si. That's because you're lazy, Sire. Si. Sire si loves a filling. Yeah, exactly. Put him, Put him in the filling. Yeah. Keep laughing gear around that. Uh, I'm going to go back over here. Tech, you're so naughty. Yeah, okay. I'm, 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 he, says this, he, did, he didn't say this at four o'clock this afternoon when the Midsummer Murders was on. When I, was, when I was building some wholesome Lego Disney 4 Plus. So. Yeah, yeah. Didn't get anything like that. I'll start sending you some stuff, some slight Mickey and Minnie alternative shots. So, yeah, um, let's, not, let's not ruin my childhood. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> 
Greg, I found my uh, my name. It's Empress Chirpy Spider. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I that's love it. it. Change uh, it, it right now. <laughs> yeah, where is it? Sorry. I like I it. Love it. Uh, Matt, what's your one? I, I know Matt. I'm Go to find it. Where is it? Go, yeah, go to ideas, Matt. Log into ideas. That's the one that it, it sometimes oh, doesn't okay. show up on my normal uh, Lego.com, like Lego shop yeah. at hosting. So if you look, no, if you log it's wild it. crafty boar. Oh, yeah, I like that one. <laughs> what? Wild, oh, well, wild, wild crafty boar. Wild crafty boar. Blimey, that's, that's, quite, that's bordering on, in, you know, insulting, that is. Um, <laughs> well, what we'll about your one, Solo? Very angry oh, man, or something like that. I read your one, isn't it? <laughs> I've got this man. perception that oh, you are. I'm, perception. I'm, I'm, I'm always angry. Oh no, watch your videos, and you'll think, bloody, he's got, he's got issues, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm cool, calm, and collected all the time. <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm just, there's some good ones in the chat. Yeah, I was just going to say, Cassie right. Lance is strange, but. <laughs> Oh, I like that one. Captain Pleasant Sprout. <laughs> that is awesome. I love it. This keep them coming, folks. This is brilliant. Um, I found okay. mine. Josh says, I'm Sergeant Hypnotic Scarf. <laughs> oh, my God. Hmm. Well, I, I tell you what, I, I'm starting to get an idea of why these uh, Lego designers are going through a bit of a golden age at the moment. Blimey. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, here we go. Cabbage Face says, I'm an animal in the bedroom because sloth is an animal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I love it. Um, delicious foods, apparently, is worst brilliant orange. <laughs> worst brilliant. That's funny. Titanium, tell me which one you are. I am Night Sneaky Toxiquita. Wow. Oh. Mm. wow. I like that. Yeah. Earth Patient Parrot. No, but that's a lie. Like and there is a a, a, um, a connection to Ninjago there, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Is there? What is nice it? Coincidence. Toxikita. Oh, I had no idea. Nurse no patient parrot. Read it week. So I can't see it very well. Can you just go into your account yeah. settings and, and and see card details? Just I think it's I think it shows clear. Yeah, you'll be sorely disappointed of how much you'll be able to buy it, Tech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You will have to put money in to buy. <laughs> you feel sorry for him, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to see what my one is again. Um, do... I'm trying to log in. It just came up with a, what is it? Um, unfortunately, something has gone wrong with your lego.com account system. We'll look at it later. Oh, is that your name then? Is it on there? That's a long one. <laughs> that's a long one. Yeah, that's it. Did something just release? <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing that is uh, who here on the panel and who out there in chat land actually managed to get hold of any coins this week. Oh there's some cool comic kind of pictures on the Lego ideas, but anyway, let's see if I can log in uh on the Lego ideas. Yeah, I've one. got the full set now, or I will once it gets delivered, so that's pretty exciting. Oh, I quite like my one. Uh my one. Oh god, I just clicked on it. That was wrong. Uh my one is let's see if I can get it. Like that, yeah. Here we go. Boom. Maybe not. Oh, someone uh, else has the same error message. Oh, really? We we sent an influx of people. They can't handle it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 12, yeah, there's more than yeah. three people than trying 12. to log in. <laughs> so, down. Um, my one, my one is uh, Aunt Imaginative Belt. <laughs> okay, that's suitable well, for sixty nine, like then, that. isn't it? <laughs> and, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think you should keep your maiden name. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I, I'm trying to think of people that I knew that had funny maiden names. Um, because I know people that went well, they basically went from one bad thing to another, in all honesty, if, if truth be known. Um, hey, Lester, how you doing, mate? Uh, it says, uh, I'm getting the error message as well. They must be releasing something new then. Mm. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. I got, I, I, Lester says he got the gold coin. Um, That's the yeah. one you were asking about, because that was the last one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't get it. Uh, Tech told me it was available about 10 minutes after he'd got his one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I could not get it. That. I absolutely forgot all about it. I did. Um, but, lose. I had yeah, to set an alarm because it was six o'clock in the morning, our time, when it oh, went available. Yeah. Um, I gave my boss, uh, the guy I work with, 
I gave him a load of stick. I was like, what are you doing on your phone? Come on, we got we got work to do. And then I realized it's five to nine. And I was like, there, so I sat on my phone for the next five minutes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> tech, um, so Tech got one. Titanium, did you try and get one? No, I don't collect the coins. They just don't make sense to me. Oh. Me either, Jay. Me either. But here we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What does make sense when it comes to Lego? I mean, anyway, I'm a collector, so it totally makes sense to me. I don't know. Ah, so have you got them all now? Then? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I mean, I will once it actually arrives. Yeah. Did you? Um. What did you order, Holly, to to get it? I got I got the friends' apartment just because it was pretty much the only thing that I didn't already have that I vaguely wanted that yeah. might not be around in a week's time. So. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one to get, I guess. Like, yeah. Um, I, I was going to get the Demon Ball Tank. I still have not ordered mine yet. I need to do it. But I was going to get the Demon Ball Tank. But the, it was the only Monkey Kid set that was on back order. But I think it's come back in stock now. So um, you can get that one. Oh, cool, man. Um, what about you, Solo? Did you did you try and get any of the coins? No. No. Not at all. Great chat, Solo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're uh, welcome. Uh, thanks for all your input. Uh, you're yeah, very mate. welcome. Solo, <laughs> let other people speak. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. Get my head here, please, Solo. Uh, <laughs> you know, Are you just, trying you know, to make him angry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just talk about the best Star Wars movie. Um, <laughs> last, actually, yeah, yeah. yeah, the last, the last Jedi, wasn't it, Solo? Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? That's your opinion. I, I'm never going to forget that line. He says, I can't go now, I'm too angry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a drink of mine. I'm all right now. You're very cool. Um, um, Matt, uh, do you want to give us an update on your um, on your painting, your watercolour? Uh, maybe give me about a half hour. Oh, okay. Just, all right. All right. He's, he's, thanks. He's, he's got... He's got he's, he's, are you tracing it? What? Looks like he's tracing it. What's he doing there? He's got a photograph there. Oh, it's a photograph. Yeah, Don't stop the photograph with, with what you're painting. We, <laughs> <laughs> we'll spot it. Um, Tech, I, I do believe you, you've got to go soon. Um, bear with me. I'm, okay. I might be staying for a little bit. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Holly. Mm-hmm. Holly, princess. Can I call you princess, Holly? Um, yeah, uh, they actually call me that at work, so sure. Oh, do they? <laughs> Love it. Uh, uh, he calls me. He, well, my husband and I both work there, and we're both super picky because we have a lot of equipment needs. So they call us princess and the P. I'm not sure which one's which. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so. So I might just call you princess now, then. Sure. Uh, why not start as we mean to go on? Um, so you've, you've spoken about the, the, the underneath the table. On, on top of the table, I'm pretty sure that's the same drawer, uh, you know, the little drawers that you've got there that Plastic Architect has. What make are those, please? Uh, these are the iris drawers. Iris, iris. Okay, Yeah, cool. so there's the iris and then there's so a... For these type of drawers, it's generally iris and acromills or some generic form of either mm -hmm. of those, which I have acromills too. That was my original system. And I kind of have that back in my storage room as like overflow. But when we moved into the new house, I wanted everything to be kind of white and clean so all the colors could pop. And uh, iris was the only one I could find that made the white ones. Yeah, no, I agree actually. Cause I was um, I was thinking about that today. What sort of colors and that I should do. You know, the, the table, whatever table I get, I'm gonna, I, I'd like it to be a light wood. Uh, because I think I know. Know, when, the, when the cameras are on, and, and also as well, white is terrible for autofocus as well. Uh, it really mm. is. The camera just goes eh, 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 all, all, all night long. It's, it's, like, it's like Tech's old bed. It is because <laughs> uh, <laughs> he got the strings out and he folks. That's why he's built a new one. Um, right. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show us what you built, Tech? I did. Yeah, you don't need to see it again because my bed's unmade, and now I'm not gonna. <laughs> Oh, okay, we've not got ladies' bed tonight. Uh, <laughs> oh, never mind. No, don't go there, Tech. Don't go there. It's rude. Um, not on, no, not on today's stream. No, not on this one. It's, it's a naughty one. Um, so, Solo, are you are you going to be doing any streams anytime soon? Um, I, I was going to do one tomorrow, but I've been invited down to a barbecue. So maybe Sunday. I don't know, but yeah, the barbecue tomorrow. Sunday. So 
Sunday with Solo. How about that? Yeah, I, I used to do some so, uh, Sunday streams, but yeah, they, they're, they're particularly awkward for me on a Sunday because generally I'm trying to get myself ready for work the next day. It pretty much takes me the whole day to try and get everything together. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I might, I might see how everything goes, see how um, hungover I am, shall we say? Because um, yeah, we've got... Drink the can you get hungover together. on drinking lots of Ribena? Just yeah, saying. too much too much Ribena and fizzy fizzy pop makes you go funny, and then uh, then uh, yeah, makes um, you go funny. That's too cute. <laughs> <laughs> Holly and grape no juice as well. Uh, lots and lots of grape juice. About solo brick building before. I've never heard, heard that word. No. I mean, muttered with him, but he, he's quite cute, really. I mean, look at him. Look, he's just a little. He's just a head on a shoulder. That's all he is. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. What oh. time is it? It's three minutes past ten o'clock. Don't go too crazy. Oh, that really um, hurts. He's hurt his shoulder now. He's, he's dislocated his shoulder. Oh. Oh. Like, it won't be the first time. Well, oh, don't what's going on in there? I can't see it. What is that photograph of in the background above the TV? I'll give you a wild guess. Solo. Daughter, this little so like she it's was really little. Oh, she I can really see that. Sorry, mate. I can see very cute. How is she doing anyway? We haven't seen her for ages. She always used to appear, and then sort of then no lad came in on the act, and we don't see her anymore. Is she how is she doing? <laughs> She's got beaten up by no lag. Don't show her face anymore. No, 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 no. no. She, she, she goes, she, she, we try to get her in bed before I go on the, on the live streams because. Oh God, I can't shut myself away. So all, all you would ever hear is her just screaming back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then jump up, head butt me in the bollocks, and off she goes again. <laughs> and repeat. So yeah, we try to get her in bed before then. So we're, we're trying to keep a nice little routine for her at the moment. Until then, I've got my own little closet that I can lock myself away in. And it's never about come out it's a little bit of space. It's, it's easy, easier said than done. It really is. Um, Indeed it is. But yeah, at the moment, looking around, I've got loads of space now. It's it kind yeah. of feels weird in here, it does not feel right. Oh, but there you go. All right, oh, this yeah. is kind of wild. I gotta show this oh, okay. build yeah. technique here. So, for the for, there's this piece that comes with the car that mm -hmm. you would think would be a windshield, but it's not really, it, it's inverted, it goes inverted, and oh. kind of What's just that? is that the center? There. Is that the center you're building? What's that? Is that the center? McLaren yes. center? Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of wild. It like makes for the side windows yeah. there. And mm. then this just goes on top of it to to hold it, that plate right there to hold it in place. Nice. Okay. I like that. Very cool, Holly. Oh, yeah. Very, Not very neat. Loving that. It's good stuff. Yeah. Um, loving that as well. Um, now, titanium. Uh, well, I, I need I need your um, I need your lowdown on these new um, Ninjago sets that come out, my friend, because some of them actually look blooming amazing. I think. Yeah, they're they're wonderful. <laughs> yeah, uh, the uh, and everyone says I'm the big boy. <laughs> <player. laughs> uh, should we go back to where we should we talk about there's Lego a, ideas there? Uh, <laughs> there's two legacy sets. There's two. <laughs> Well, there's two four plus sets if those exist. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, well, and then what's, the, what's the best one to get? Let's start with that. That's that's a good question. There's a lot of good ones out there. Mm -hmm. I'd say if you for the new season, the best one to get would be the Hydro Bounty because it's got all the ninja in it, and it's got the main villain. Are these the ones that look kind of like the Atlantis sets? Yeah, the yeah. Atlantis, but with snakes. Yeah. Yeah, those are cool. There's a really cool, like, uh, is a squid or a, no manta ray? It's like a printed manta yeah. ray. Yeah. Yeah. That's in the, the two biggest sets. Yeah. Oh, typical. That's what I want. Bricks and pieces I, is. I, um, I would argue, though, that the $20 mech that Lloyd has is completely pointless. <laughs> because you can. Why get, is that? Why is it? You why can is get this everything cool? that that set has in the Hydra bounty. You get Lloyd, you get a villain, you get the amulet. You get a Lloyd vehicle and you get a mech. Yeah. Well, okay. the small I mean the smaller ones are pretty yeah. much I mean it's a nice mech on its own, but yeah. 
it's kind of me. kind of backwards psychology. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, it's pointless to get the small one because you get everything in the bigger set. Yeah, if you're going to get the big smaller one. ones, is so yeah. you get that out of a smaller exactly. set without having to buy the big one. <laughs> exactly. If you're going to get the big one, you don't need the small one. Right. Options. Those, those two golden figs, the last two, Zane and Nia, will be appearing in those legacy sets. Uh, Nia will be in the Fire Dragon, and Zane will be in the Ultrasonic Raider. Well, that's pretty good. And I still want the, um, the Islander sets. The I, I still want to get the Catamaran. I think out of those. Yeah, yeah, those are great. I um I built those not long after I went home. Yeah. We got home. There's Kai's yeah. here. That does look pretty cool. Yeah. But right, take a look at that. We, we like these. These these are. You know, they're quite different, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. They, they pop out and... Yeah. And hey, Lex. Pops out. It's got spring loaded missiles on it. Mm. Nice little Ninjago set. Very unique. Mm -hmm. Don't usually see catamarans, so it's nice to see two of them. Yeah. In the set. So, yeah. I don't have any shelf space, so it goes up here. <laughs> well, you pulled out the other day. I couldn't believe this, right? I, I, I knew you kind of liked star wars and i know you flirt yeah with star wars sets but and then I mean, you just didn't stop pulling out star wars sets <laughs> yeah i got a lot of star wars down here in a bunch of bins like you, you do some good flexing yeah yeah Oh, there we go. I love that. You always, <laughs> like I said, I knew you was going to pull that one out. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she stuff. said. Oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Oh, right in the middle. <laughs> wasn't me. I just realized. I'm going to bring her up here. Uh, we'll, we'll in the middle. Look at you. Look. look. I'm, at, I'm at my spot. <laughs> you, you have tech, actually. You have. Look at that. What does that mean when you do that tech? I'm never quite sure. What does that mean? Is that it's frame? Just, like it's just what the cool kids do. So you're not allowed to do it, Greg. I'm not that. I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> not in the picture. <laughs> it's the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, I jest. Um, I'm doing it the wrong way around. <laughs> I, oh, should yeah. I be doing it the other way around? Because yeah, whatever. Um, I, I, <laughs> Noted. Uh, we're gonna have to have a after the after the stream. The, yeah, we can chat about that uh, <laughs> after the stream. Um, what, what's uh, <laughs> they, they isn't anyone we know, by the way, is it? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, then you not recognise Sai. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <Yeah. laughs> I was actually paying attention this time, and I still have no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought, oh, it take, I just, I just see that you put my logo in it. <laughs> oh, in I there! Oh, I put the brand in it. Yeah, no, he's bad. I tell you, why can't he do this on his own thumbnails? I don't know. Um, <laughs> God, anyway, Holly, Holly. So with all the new sets that are coming out, right? Um, is, is there any particular set? And I want to know what you lovely lot out there think about this as well, folks. Is there anything in particular uh, that you fancy getting as well? Um, do you, you, you fancy a bit of Disney or uh, maybe the new Ninjago season 15 or something like that? I fancy everything <laughs> pretty <laughs> much. <Yeah. laughs> it's, it's, you don't go down sort of one theme or anything like that. You kind of go for all different things. I can't, I can't actually think of any theme that I don't dabble in at least a little bit. There's got to be one. Um, I don't do a lot of Technic. Like if I ever buy a Technic set, it's really just for like particular parts. I never build Technic sets per se, but then I did build the the little RC buggy and that was a blast. So. Oh yes, I want to. I do want to buy that. I'm going to wait for it to go in discount. And I think me and Tech are yeah. going to do some sort of re remote controls day out or something. I don't like City. I don't like Lego City so much. Oh, why is that then? That's interesting. Because I don't, because I don't build a city. I don't. I have no real need. Like I used to. Like when I first kind of got back into Lego, I was building out a little bit of a city, and I liked those sets quite a lot. But I sort of have all that stuff. Sort of ended up getting binned, and I have a lot of the basics. If I ever wanted to build a city, and I would probably just mock it all anyway. I'm not. I'm. I, I pretty much glaze right over the the city section for the most part, unless there's particular. Parts, but even that, I pretty much just do big bricks and minifigs or brick link these days to get those parts that I like. So I never buy those sets. That's about it. Every, everything else is like on my want list. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you're you're obviously into your Lego modulars. Um, why? Uh, but but I'm surprised. Most people that are into Lego modulars kind of like like a bit of Lego C because it's it, there's sort of a, a bit of a connection between. You if you if you build a city, I mean, so a lot of people get their modulars and actually build out like ro a road system and stuff. I I just have mine as display pieces, so I'm a little bit particular and picky about buildings and things that I have. Like I. It, yeah. My room is kind of set up as like a display space. So yeah. it has to look good on display for me to really want it. Yeah. Okay. No, that's good. Yeah. good. I like it. It's a, it's a good it's a good way of looking at things because you save a lot of money by that. You think to yourself, well, does it look all Oh, but I don't. <laughs> there's a lot of good things. There's a lot of things that look really good on display. <laughs> and the most expensive stuff looks good that, on that display. Is, that is true. And, and this bloke is neither expensive nor good on display, but we won't go there. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> Tech, I've got one of those. Yeah. Um, Tech, I want to know who's thinking about getting the gauntlet? Like, it's just reminding me, Tech, you have. <laughs> who's thinking of getting the gauntlet? So I was. Um, that was the one set that I was like half expecting to see today because the um, the the shop that Bricklicker had sent me the pictures that had yeah. of House of Fraser that had the sets early, they had all the Infinity War sets and um, the Gauntlet was there. So that was the one set that I thought oh, if I see that today, I could be tempted to, to pick yeah. that up at, uh, even at full price. Um, and I'm not like a massive Marvel fan, but I think that's a really nice display piece. Um, and it been like a, if in like a year or two, I was just like over it, or if I was running out of room for it, I could part it out and do something cool with the colors for Monkey Kid or or something. There's just a lot of really cool parts in that. So, uh, but yeah, so I I think I'll probably get it to be honest. I I think it's going to be talked about a lot. I won't get it straight away, but I think it's just a set that's going to be a good a good thing to experience, even if I don't keep it built. Um, this is kind of a weird concept and like headspace for me to be in because I, I don't think I've ever bought a set thinking, oh, I'll, I'll build this, keep it for a while, and then break it down. But that one, for some reason, maybe because of the cool parts in it, I don't know. Um, but it's it, it's definitely I'm forcing my hand a bit because of the amount of space I'm running out of. <laughs> yeah, space space is a thing, mate. I think when you get when you get to that point, isn't that point when you got to start selling off stuff? Yeah, I have like a pile of stuff to sell, but if I actually ever do it, we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> you know? it's a thing, isn't it? Yeah. I, think I would be more likely to part out and then I could always build it again. That's another pile. <laughs> but then that's another, yeah, that's a separate file. <laughs> yeah. All the superhero sets for me, all the superheroes and some of the Star Wars sets are basically I buy for parts and figures. So they're all built with the intention that I will just part them out. And then yeah. I have display cases for the figures. Like there's a there's one big Star Wars figure display and then there's one big superhero figure display. But I but yeah, just piles back there of that I will probably never get through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you wait long enough and those sets go up so much in value that it's much harder to break to break into them, you know? Mm -hmm. That's what I said to Greg on on our on our yeah. backlog. Some of our stuff is like so old now; it's become really, really valuable. And it's like, oh my god, that's why some of the stuff we build in the backlog is, is newish. But um, it's it's you know, like what if I got a, I've got the gunship, and that's like nearly six hundred euros. It's sealed. Um, wow. I wouldn't know. And now I'm not going to open. It. Well, I want to open it, but I'd rather have a proper display place where I can open it because I'm not going to sell it. You know what I mean? Right. Yep. So I've yeah. no problem opening it or and devaluing it. It's mine. I own it. But, but would you consider, say, it goes up to a thousand pounds when the you know the, the the UCS gunship comes out? Would you consider it then? No, because what would I buy with it? I'd only buy more Lego, and I could buy that with the money I already have. True, true. You know, yeah. and you lose out on an awesome set. Yeah, I think I'm the same way. I I, I never sell anything because I always feel like, what if you know, like, what if yeah. I needed those parts? You know, I would be so mad that I didn't have them on hand. Because that's about the only time that I ever do bust the sets open is when I need that one part. And I'm like, oh, I guess this is a parts pack now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Holly, when, when you when you build all these sets and, you, you know, you maybe started to run out of space, do you break them down and then just put them away and sort them and stuff? Um, I very rarely part out something once I've actually built it. They tend to stay built because usually by the time I'm actually building a set, like I said, it's something I, I want to have on display. So I tend to keep them bagged together, and then I put I put them in bins and try to sort of rotate things out. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, yeah, because I see some people, some videos gone out recently of how they sort stuff. Um, Plastic Architect has got a video out, folks. Please do check that out. And uh, Chris from Bricking It as well, he's been doing the same thing. He does. A, he goes by color. I, I try to do. I do mine by type. Um, As you should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is true. Um, <laughs> Princess Holly says you should. You should. Um, <laughs> first everyone, and then color if you must. <laughs> everyone's frantically changing their parts now. Holly said we've got to change it quick. It's not true. Oh it's not true though. It's not true. There, there is there is a time and place for sorting by color. So, but or like depending on what you build or it's nice to have both if you can like i have a stash of like a big old bin just of white bricks because when i'm building out like the winter village and i need to just build like mounds of snow and kind of landscape with snow and stuff i can just buy that or i can bring out that one bin of just random white parts and yeah. kind of quickly assemble something rather than like having to go all to all these individual drawers and stuff but i still have like that's like surplus you know i still have mostly things parted by type or i have like one big landscape bin that has plants and flowers and all that stuff just kind of mixed together in there so it can go both ways see chris yeah. chris had like a, sh a, a fairly big I, I don't know if you're familiar with the like really useful drawer sizes like the shallow ones of those all dark bluish gray any part there was like slopes plates tire like everything i was like yeah it was anything oh. that went in that bin yeah, I was, no, no, it's <laughs> nightmare. I just, I, I, in the long run, he will change that. But mm -hmm. again, though, sometimes it does get that. Even that can come down to space, though, can't it? Some people, I've only got so many drawers for so many things. You know, it's, it, 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 but but I always think it's better to start as you mean to go on. Yeah, uh, if you can. Uh, what about you, Sai? Do you, do you ever break stuff down and think like I'll make something out of that maybe in the future or something like that? No, no, no. I, if I need anything, I just get it from I get it from bricks brick and pieces and just do it that way. But I can't. You see, for me, if I wouldn't be able to break down a, a set and then say, "Oh yeah, I have that," because it's not you don't have it anymore. It's in it's in a house and it's in a car and it's in something else. All you have is a box. If you keep keep the box. So no, I am um, I'm a different type of Lego person. I don't part anything out at all. At all, mm. I do. I, I modify a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I modify sets, and technically, you you don't really have that set anymore if you modify it too much. But you still mm. have it if you know what I mean. Mm. But um, I put yeah, notes. I put, uh, sorry, yeah. I put notes when I'm cataloging things on Brickset. I sometimes put notes in if I start pulling pieces from something. Yeah. Missing one by four plus blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i have trouble cataloging i mean i do catalog everything i buy uh, mm -hmm. and sets that i've built and i've uh, in the vault uh, i have to keep a note of where i've actually put the thing um i've got segregated areas where i put things uh, he's, he's I've actually been... got three employees that just work up there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, they used to work in argos now they work for greg yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, when Toys R Us went under, it was fantastic for me. Um, <laughs> all those warehouse people. <laughs> yeah, we're going along the warehouse, yeah. With a forklift truck. Um, I know where to go as well, where, if it ever breaks down. Isn't that right, Solo? Oh, well. yeah. Is he frozen? Yeah. <laughs> Is he frozen? Oh, yeah. All right, guys, I have to go back to work. I went a little over because I wanted to finish. I wanted to finish my little McLaren. It's right. pretty sweet. I must say. Okay. That is, is that cool. car sponsored by Dyson by any chance? What's that? <laughs> Dyson. Do you have Dysons in, in America? Yeah. Like the fans oh, cool. and the vacuums and stuff? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. They're, 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 they're gray and orange, aren't they? Yeah. Well, well sometimes they're different colors. Well, I guess so. All right. That joke fell flat, didn't it? Uh, anyway, carry <laughs> I on. Get it. No. Nope. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you, sometimes my humor is completely wasted. It really is. Uh, oh, it's okay. Oh, you, or it's yeah, not humor. won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Holly, it's been lovely to see you. Thank you for spending your your uh, your lunch time with us. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, really yeah, appreciate anytime. that. Um, good to see you. You're always welcome. And and thank you because um, do, do you want to say uh, you, you you kind of dwell uh, with uh, with tricky bricks? When, when are you next going to be on there? Uh, yeah, every Sunday. So I should be there on Sunday. This Sunday. Um, 10, 10 to 12 Pacific standards. So that's like six ish yeah. more time. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good time actually. Uh, just after supper uh, yeah. for us. Yep. Yeah. Every Sunday. 
All right. And then apparently sometimes I'll be on Boone's channel, but you guys will be asleep at that time. So don't worry about that. As you like, well, we can always watch it back though. You I'll can like, always watch it back. Yeah. yeah, but Boone's a uh, top guy. He is yeah. a top guy. Um, all right. Well, take care. Lovely to yeah. see you, Holly. See, see you guys. again soon. Bye. 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 That was a lovely surprise, wasn't it, folks? Well, it was expecting Holly on today. Um, she got in touch. She said, Can I come on? Now, um, are you guys good to hang around for another 10, 15 minutes or so? Yeah, I think so. Is that all right? Because yeah. we're, getting, we're getting into that three hour mark. Now, I want to show uh, Cy O'Connor something that I bought this week. It's rather mm -hmm. special, actually. In fact, I think Solo Brick Builder might even like it uh, if he can open his eyes. Uh, but uh, <laughs> anyway, I got a Funko Pop this week, Ooh. and it's quite a good one. Look at that! Oh, that is so oh, yeah, cool. I bought that one, yeah, I got that one. It's so cool. I bought, I bought all. I think there's four of them out. I've got four of them. Anyway, I got the Skywalker Stormtrooper and that one. Ooh, I, I think there's R two C three PO. I didn't Couldn't know there was a Star Wars one. Yeah, I, I've seen the C three PO one. I, I might as well take it out. Actually, I don't. I don't think. <laughs> And it creeps the lid as well. Oh my god. Oh, oh, god. god. No. oh, oh my god. god. I'm having trouble pulling it out, folks. So I'm oh. on a minute. <laughs> oh woman. Surprise there. You would have pulled the Funko community like that. Uh, <laughs> that oh blimey, he's he's it's not even black, he's like a sort of a, a bluish silver. Is he chrome? There's a um, a Chewbacca one as well you can get. Yeah, that's it's your chewy, yeah. You're back. Look on the back of the box, Greg. <laughs> you're back. I thought you said on the backer. Ah! Oh my god. Get a hearing aid. <laughs> he won't be on that. He's a he's a he's from oh, yeah, no, the, um, it's 23 minutes past ten solo. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I don't think that's that yo yoda with hair doesn't look quite good though, does it? No. That's the original drawing, though. That's the original yeah. one. It's the original Ralph R McCory ones. It's epic. R2-D2, it looks like the robot from Battle of the Planets. <laughs> um, can we... Probably not. Probably. Did everyone see Bad Bats today? No, yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen yeah, yeah. it. I've seen two-thirds of it. Okay. Um, it's, it's actually no spoiler, but one of the droids in there... Yes. Yeah. Um. Have you guys seen how they've done the minion figures? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know the one you mean. If you look at the minion figures, not too dissimilar to one of those droids that we could. Yeah, like, look I, I know the one you mean. But that droid, that droid has never featured in Star no. Wars ever. No, it's it's, it's a complete new droid. It is, folks. It's even uh, with like, the arms, and the arms. Yeah, the arms and the legs. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. looks. He looked like just like a minion. So I reckon if you get the minion leg piece and you put a cylinder uh, with the, the printed thing on a dome on the top, that look perfect. It looks so oh good. Gosh, yeah. Because yeah. I, 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 I never saw that droid before either. I was going to ask you guys if where where he came from, what the what's his story? But obviously he's brand new. So yeah, brand new. Yeah, I, I'd like him as a as a, as a figure to buy. Um, just out of curiosity, did anyone see the Rogue One uh, in in that episode? The Rogue One reference. No. Yeah, there was a, a, a toy, a toy um, clone yeah, trooper. Yeah, it's a little clone trooper. Uh, yeah. In, in Rogue One, it, it, there was a Stormtrooper version of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thought oh, that was cool. I love Rogue One, my, one of my favorite. I, I, do you know what? It, 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 that is, 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 is a tot up between Rogue One and uh, Empire Strikes Back for me. There'll be no tossing nah. here, please, Greg. Um, yeah, all right. <laughs> I need to take a look at See, I think I can throw out a little one for him, right? Set him up and I'll knock yeah. him down. Hey, look at that. He loads the gun. I fire the bullets. Um, <laughs> um, did you see that with the new Andor series that um, there's been photos of uh, actors in the Shore Trooper? So oh, yeah. 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 More Shore yeah. Troopers coming. I want the Shore Trooper figure back because that is hella expensive. Yeah, so I, I think that's all but confirmed now that we're getting new Lego sort short troopers. I, I got to, so. you got so. to. But then we haven't had figures yet from the Mandalorian of like a lot of the Imperial stuff, other than a scout yeah. trooper. So mm, that is true. I, I want that flaming trooper. I want that one. Oh wait, no, we are getting that, aren't we? Mm. Are we? Okay, that's cool. Wait, I need to. I need to follow this. Anyway, let's let's show off a couple more pictures um, before before so we do. Now. 
Sorry? Just a quick shout out to uh, Rex the Reviewer. It's his birthday today. So happy yeah. birthday. Oh, happy Rex the Reviewer. Happy birthday, mate. Happy birthday indeed. Do you know what? Here's the this week. Cheers. Uh, anyway, I'm going to show I'm going to show some pictures off. I'm not going to show you the one that Tech sent me. Um, Why not? Um, Why not? Because... That's, that's, that's the ultimate fun now. <laughs> the, the, the ultimate <laughs> thumb now, is it? Indeed. Right, that uh, is called fan art. It, it's called what? Sorry, fan art? Fan, I, I, fan, fan art. Fan art. Or um, fanny aunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Anyway, uh, moving on quickly. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so, I'm like, with it. Sanna just comes on and just sits there and, uh, and, and it gives us the odd I've been up since three o'clock this morning and I've only just got home. I'm allowed. I went to bed. I went to bed then and I was up exactly. at And I was only just with Sai a couple of hours beforehand as well. Like, yeah. Um, I tell you what, Sai, that geezer's not going to help you. I thought in that situation anyway. Um, <laughs> Uh, this is uh, this is Craig Star. This is getting back to a different type of artwork, uh, shall we say? Uh, hi, Team Truth One Thousand. Good to meet you, mate. Uh, is it, Craig says I've been working on this during the stream, building the Lego Movie Arkham, so that I can combine them both into one modular. Uh, looks very cool, actually. I like him. That a lot of people do a lot of building. Let's make it a little bit bigger as well, so you can get the full. Uh, uh, the, the full impact, so to speak. There's that iPad, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. <laughs> there we go. It always comes in handy. That's it. Lovely jubbly. Um, honestly, Craig, that, that is awesome, mate. It really is. Uh, I think Menard sent me a picture as well. He did. Um, okay. He says the salt is real. Look at this, folks. For, I think it's a, just a, a bucket of Lego. There we go. Um, that's probably Tech's worst nightmare. Ooh. Something like that. Go speak to the woodshop teacher. He's your man. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's pretty mad. I like it. Uh, let's take a look at uh, that. Just say, I, I want to show people this again because I think this is pretty cool. Solo, I don't think you saw this earlier. This is How about that take? Oh, man. I think I just cheated on my wife. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. You just cheated on my wife. Oh my god, I want those. That is awesome. Yeah, they are pretty cool, aren't they? Who done those ones? Uh, this was uh, a, a wonderful mosaic Lego bod. Goes by the name of Josh Builds Stuff. JBS. Very cool. JBS. Hey, Corey. Good to see you, dude. Uh, what else we got going on there? Uh, Red Carnage as well saying, hey, Corey. Everyone's showing them some love out there. Um, I show you. I, I show you the pictures that Tech sent me, but I can't. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I can show you a picture. Of tech. What if I donate fifty quid? <laughs> if you if you donate fifty quid, I'm still not going to show it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it. Hundred. Uh, Hundred. Let me you, uh, I'm not Hundred. all about money, you know. Hundred. Uh, there we go. This is from the two hundred. Look at them for eyeballs. Like solo after tomorrow night at the barbecue. Uh, are weird. <laughs> 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 and that's before we started drinking. Um, that's about anyway, an hour. It, this, JBS, uh, I'm going to check that out, man. I'm going to check that out. Awesome. They're talking to minions. Here we go. There's their minions. Yeah, everybody, do what Tech said. Watch the um, episode today, the Bad Batch, and have a, have a butcher at that. But it, there is something weird. It's weird that they, they featured that tech because it's like, well, where does that come from? Hmm. Um, we've got this one here. Oh, this is quite clever, actually. I like this. First time watcher of your stream, apparently, Nick Sweetman. Welcome along, Nick Sweetman. It says, uh, really enjoying. Uh, it's here. Here's a little creation of mine. Folks, this is awesome. We love this. This is very apt for today. It really oh, is. Oh, that's pretty cool. Liking that. Yeah, that's really good. I like that. Clever use of nano figures. Loving that. I think Echo Bricks has popped something in as well. Again, ah. not, not a reference for you there. Uh, I think it says, hi, hi gang. Uh, built this recently. Hope I'm not too late. Uh, there we go. Uh, this is from Echo Bricks. Got to be quick. Matt, you'd like that one. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. Oh, of course, and, and you too, Solo, because um, you're the technique guys. Amazing. Looks really good. I think I think we're just about there. Uh, Nick, thank you for that, mate. Oh, uh, Mitty Bricks as well. Oh, this is quite good. Um, I said quite good. This is amazing. Um, this is a, a, a case 
a case. <laughs> this is very apt for tonight. This is a case for helmets. Uh, hey. Hey. Fantastic set of helmets, that. That is awesome, mate. Three helmets uh, in one shot. <laughs> is uh, Greg Stein solo? <laughs> Great science solo. I like it. Uh, I love it. But yeah, Matt, uh, do you want to give us an update on uh, on your artistic endeavours for tonight? Yeah, sure. I've gotten about uh, two thirds of the way through, so still got to see if we get the camera up there. Hello. I thought you were painting them. Port side. So uh, I think the paintbrush just gave it away, so. Then. Uh, I was looking at it from an angle, all right? <laughs> Great. It looks very good. That's awesome, man. Oh, cool. Matt, what are you going to do with it? Do you, do you impulsive kind of need to uh, paint him? Um, it was more just uh, I haven't done any watercolour for about a year, so I just need to uh, go through it. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. I just saw a very... <laughs> <laughs> I've just seen Sayo Connor like I've never seen Sayo Connor before. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I always thought he was a bit of an ass. <laughs> anyway, go on. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Um, yeah, I haven't done any watercolour in about a year, so I just wanted to get back into it. Um, there's a few other, there's one or two commission pieces I need to work on and sort of finish off. So um, I just don't want to go in and be completely not warmed up for it sort of thing. So... And then with the Loki show coming up soon, it just seemed to be a good one to do. Oh, cool. Uh, Matt, honestly, it's brilliant, mate. It really is. is it, so someone, is someone commissioned you to do that, or are you just kind of doing it just to get back into the, the groove, so to speak? Yeah. Yeah, just doing it to get back into the groove sort of thing. Um, I tell you, so I think Sayo Connor likes to get into the groove. That's made me laugh, actually. Uh, that has really made me laugh. Um, it reminds me, back in the days, folks, the old Madonna songs, they were the best, weren't they? Oh, was that um, what was it? Matt, I'll, I'll fill you in on that later. Again, another in your end, though, I do apologise. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> Why is Tech gone? Why, where's Tech gone? Is he laughing his head off at the moment or something? I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, I want to know is how how is how is size glasses not steamed up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, uh, we've got honestly, folks. Have you just spotted it, Sai? <laughs> 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 I tell you what, I've heard of non scratch glasses, but non steam glasses like that. Blimey. I tell you what, he gets everywhere. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, anyway, folks, um, oh, oh, this has been uh, a fun stream. It really has been. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I think on that note, um, let's see who's, what's going on in the chat because uh, we, we'll let Tech uh, try and collect collect himself. Here. No chance, absolutely no chance. <laughs> it, it all started off so well, and then as soon as Flynn went, he, he literally like solo saying it all dive bombed. Holly <laughs> came on, and he all went Pete Tong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll blame Holly. Uh, we'll blame Holly. Abs Bricks out there. Hey Abs Bricks, welcome to the stream. Great to see you here. Um, we've got the one. I just want to give a shout out as well to uh, Mini Fig Chick because Mini Fig Chick has an awful lot in the background there for um, uh, for tricky for tricky bricks and stuff like that. And um, I, I just wanted to say to you, uh, 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 Mini Fig Chick, that I, I do I, I really appreciate it. I really do. Uh, you do some good stuff for them. Uh, they're very lucky to have you in the team. I saw someone else new there. FLX is out there. FLX, good to see you, dude. Uh, Red Carnage is around. Good to see you. Oh, I tell you what I saw today. Someone's just reminded me. We've got uh, Luge UK. He goes, oi, 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 great. Good to see you. Good to see you as well, my friend. Um, <laughs> oi, oi, Samaloy. Yeah, I've just clocked who that is now. Um, and and the, the, the reason we're laughing, uh, I might be able to even show you tomorrow. Um, so anyway, the, uh, the, the cool thing is, uh, you're, you're very welcome, Mini Fig Chick. You really are. Mr. Blue, it says, Greg, with Emily and happy birthday. Uh, yeah, yeah. He says, uh, wish, wish Emily a happy birthday. This is it. Emily Claydon, happy birthday mm -hmm. from all of us happy here. Birthday. I love the bridge. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> um, 
So, so anyway, I think as well, isn't it? it looks like it was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Solo? No, I said, it's, it's, it's your birthday as well, isn't it? I think it is. I tell you what, it's, it's, um, I always thought he's a bit cheeky, uh, but that takes it to another level. That does. I'm glad oh. you had shaved, Si, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you keep you, any one of those little goaty things. Um, they, <laughs> like, no, Look at the state of him. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> We we'll start calling him uh, anyway. We've got, we've, anyway, I tell you what we're going to do, uh, folks. <laughs> anyway, happy birthday! Oh. Thank you, Red Carnage. Really appreciate that. Look at you, Mood UK saying at last. Uh, thanks, Mister Blue. What, what's this say? What does he say up there? He goes, uh, "Thanks, uh, thanks, Blue. I want Greg to say it up, up your irons." Uh, yeah. Cool. What about West Ham, mate? Eh? Where's the uh, Where's the old Spurs and Arsenal this season? Eh? West Ham finishing above them. Anyway, we won't go there. I'm going to trigger too many people, uh, especially the Arsenal fans, if there are already out there. Um, so anyway, I think we start winding down now because um, I think I think sizing for a good night tonight. Uh, <laughs> is... <laughs> I do. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, come on, Tex. Tech, come on, spit it out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> maybe not I, the case, I maybe. Think, I think he's had a good enough night already. Uh, I think he has. I think he has. Uh, he always says he gets sandwiched, doesn't he? Uh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> like a bacon. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say to oh. that. Uh, but anyway, uh, Titanium. Someone definitely moisturises. Uh, he definitely does that. Blimey. Um, <laughs> blimey solo. Go and have a vapour or something outside. Um uh, titanium <laughs> tell us tell us while well, everyone's slightly half sane is there anything coming out from your channel in the next week or so did you did you ever stream with your mum uh you, that was uh, going to be a thing back in the day yeah we, we had to cancel that back in the day i have no idea what's coming up on my channel I, this is a new room setup is it so i'm still figuring out yeah i i got tired of the other one what's and so on? i moved it to this now and i still got to figure it all out okay so i don't know yeah, all right. Maybe. I like it. Okay, dude. Good stuff. I like it. Looks very good. Very trendy. Uh, and I'm loving the flex uh, with the uh, Ninjago Gardens over there in the background, folks. I really do. Oh, lovely Lorraine uh, Fox saying, what the hell? <laughs> is going on? Well, <laughs> later on, Lorraine, if you're lucky, um, Sai might show you uh, a slightly... It wasn't me, Lorraine. It had nothing to do with me. I promise you, it's not my fault. <laughs> I, th I think it might be Lorraine. Um, but anyway, um, and so it, put it this way: it's Cy and Connor in action, like you've maybe never seen him before. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and it, anyway, Cy, um, other than getting up to mischief, uh, is he there or is he? Or is he still laughing? I'm here. I'm here. Is he? Come on. He's he's here. He's looking at that picture now. He's um, <laughs> he's he's tips. thanking it, uh, so to speak. Um, Anyway, so let's move on to Solo while so, so Connor sort of, uh, how can I put it, uh, uh, collects his thoughts. Um, solo Brick Builder. Uh, I kind of asked this earlier on. Is, is there a possibility of, of some sort of content oozing out of your channel in the next couple of weeks or so? I have no idea, to be honest with you. I really don't know. Um, probably another one, What's in the Loft, maybe. Um, what's in the uh, Loft? How many What's times are you going to milk that one? Did you get your missus to go up there, move a few things around, and go up there? <laughs> you have no idea how much is up there. My God, it is insane. I can milk that for what it's worth. Um, <laughs> should, yeah. Why is it, it made of metal? Is it me or the walls made of metal up there? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a tin roof. It's a tin, it's a tin roof. roof, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kind of all bricks and mortar, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Are you, are you, were you in the penthouse then, obviously, where you live? You could call it a penthouse, yeah, yeah, but there are, you know, yeah, a couple of other blocks around us as well. So yeah, but we are on the top floor, like we are on the top floor. So oh, yeah, that is a saving penthouse. grace for me up there. Let me tell you, it's a saving grace. Well, well, when Absolutely. you come to selling your house or your, your apartment, whatever, um, right? It's a penthouse. Sell it as a penthouse, in, in you'll get another fifty grand for it at least. <laughs> yeah, I wish. You will. I wish. Um, all right. Anyway, um, so anyway, how is the moving thing going? Anyway, solo. Uh, have you found anywhere you, you know oh we found somewhere we found somewhere that we absolutely love but we're just getting a load of um what's to put this politely twats 
Um, but time wasters, time wasters, I think is the right word. <laughs> That's what um, TWAC stands for, folks. Time wasters. Yeah, time wasters is going to be a polite word. Uh, we've had no two people it. that put an offer down and then decided to pull out because they didn't want to live in my area. So I was mm. like, why did you put the offer down in the first place? Just, just go away and die because they just really wasted <laughs> our time. Because now we've had to pull out of that one. Yeah. And now obviously that guy's really angry at us. So we're like, well, don't blame us. Blame them. Yeah. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, because obviously it's like a chain reaction that he's found somewhere. Now he's had to pull out of that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, um, yeah, really annoying to say the least, but um, we'll get there eventually. We will find the right person. Um, anyone that wants a flat, I've got one for sale. Um, <laughs> uh, anyone, honestly. But uh, yeah, no, it, it hopefully soon we will get somewhere. We've got two more people coming over tomorrow. So, yeah. Fingers crossed. Oh, Fingers well, good, crossed. good luck with that, mate. Uh, yeah, and, and the, the best, the only thing I can ever give to anybody with advice on that sort of thing is um, uh, don't believe it until you've exchanged contracts. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So anyway, moving on swiftly. Um, Matt, artistic yes. Matt, you, you feel like you've been quite conservative tonight because you've actually done. It feels like the the the, the, the Matt has been kind of flexing. His art muscle, so to speak. Again, not an innuendo, folks. Um, so, Matt, are, are you, you going to be? <laughs> are you going to be doing like an alternative? Uh, I, do you know what? Can I? Can I just make a big suggestion, Matt? Can I yeah. suggest that next time you do, uh, I say you draw or in text. Uh, I think you should have Tech on as a co-host and call it. Um, I know something like um, I lick you draw or something like that <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> right? because uh, I, I I think tech would be quite into that, wouldn't you, tech? <laughs> My taste buds are very. <laughs> very <laughs> <fun> to... <laughs> you can't say that. His taste buds. <laughs> Does he go? I'll be moving it to like a midnight eighteen plus stream then or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely that. Blimey, Matt. Um, it's 18 Ooh. plus somewhere anyway. Um, <laughs> I can't, I've got, it's, it's burnt into my uh, into my memory server, man. But anyway, Matt, t- tell us quickly, please, before before this, it all goes craziness. Um, what's what's going to be coming up from you in the next week or two, my friend? Um, I'm hoping to get out a video on last year. I did some um, cards, postcard things with the oh, one watercolors for yeah. yeah the London Affolds. Um So I've always meant to put the the video out on it, which okay. um, okay. someone just sleep on the train. And I, I um, won those. So that's it. That way up. I won those yeah, once the, in competition, Matt. And I said, oh, I know this guy. Matt Elder. <laughs> yeah, they're used to sort of like thank you cards and things like that. So, yeah, hopefully get that video out sometime next week. Uh, won't be doing a drawing tomorrow night. You've got some uh, other family things to deal with, but uh, should be back next week. So right, um, pretty quiet one. All right, that's all right. There's nothing wrong with being a bit quiet. Um, there really isn't. Anyway, talking to someone who's never quiet because he's got how can I put it? He's, he's got his fingers in all sorts of pies, uh, is old tech. <laughs> and uh, just Greg, I just want to say to Matt, Red Carnage put that that up before Matt showed anything. So Red Carnage wasn't saying anything. Oh no, Red Carnage wasn't being rude. No, no, no. Just, yeah, yeah, no, no. So everyone is clear. That was that was these Red Carnage. Now, saying, Matt, we'll good. show you in a minute. And I do apologise for laughing as you as you said your bit, but I saw that and uh, it keeps making me laugh. I am sorry. Uh, so yeah. In fact, we'll come back to Tech. No, actually, no, we won't because uh, look, he can't handle himself at the moment. Right. Tech, something what, in my throat. You, you, you seem, how can I put it? You seem to be um, pushing out lots of content at the moment. I am uh, pushing and pushing and pushing. <laughs> out, you know me. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've done a few uh, live streams uh, this week. Uh, a couple actually that were short enough that if you had like half hour, you could probably go and watch back if you wanted to if not don't worry about it um i posted a highlights video of uh, a whole uh, video i did a couple of months uh, like a month or so ago um spent way way too much money on lego um and i'm gonna try get a video out this weekend with these uh new mickey mouse sets that i got and then yeah. the first of my two vlogs that i've got um are gonna, is gonna come out on tuesday um and then next saturday i will be with matt and it will be i lick matt draws and no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> and we're not talking about envelopes folks just in case you're wondering bring back postage stamps that's all <laughs> that's it yeah 
I'm joking, I'm joking. All I'd say is tech. Just make sure you bring a toothpaste and brush, all right? <laughs> We're doing that on your channel, right, Tech? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's not on brand for you, Matt. Tech. <laughs> and if you're not lucky enough to have anyone like Sai, uh, uh, bring some floss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Things you can do with Lego, folks. It's amazing. <laughs> It really is. Anyway, I got another picture I like to show you. Um, this, this, this is from uh, this is from someone big fan of the channel, big friend of the channel. She's been on recently. Uh, it's it's Princess Holly, um, and she's showing. Um, well, maybe Tech can describe what we're looking at here. It's goofy. <laughs> That's what she wanted me to show. <laughs> it's goofy. Her, her. Uh, there we go, mate. Eh? <laughs> it's me, but it looks like the out of scout. I'm not sure. <laughs> you can get jumbo wieners. <laughs> I don't expect you to know about those, Greg. <laughs> Everything I got jumbo uh, tech. Have you noticed? No, nah, it's just over comfort zone. Just, just the iPad. <laughs> it's just it's the, iPad. the man who's got the biggest mic on the panel. <laughs> Bloody yeah. right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Double handed one as well. Double that looks like it's radiating heat. Every time he rubs it, it gets bigger. Anyway, we'll go there. Um, <laughs> anyway, to, I know somebody's had a good night tonight, or he's going to have a good night later, that's for sure. <laughs> it's Savaloy. Um, Brace it's, yourself, it's, Lorraine. So, so, Connor, what, what, what isn't coming up from your channel in the next week or so, my friend? What isn't coming up is what we were laughing at earlier on. So. <laughs> 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 Oh, and I forgot Ty is in there. Tyrone, you be good in there now. Just be everyone is everyone is like I'm getting messages right. like, from Even people on Instagram. I get messages from people on Instagram. What's going on? What are you talking about? I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> so anyway, calm down, everybody. I'm about to speak. So um <laughs> no, I think we're doing the backlog on my channel next week. Are we Greg? We we are. Yeah, okay, so 8 o'clock on my channel on Wednesday, the backlog is back, and I don't know what we're going to build, but we're going to build something, and um, then generally just videos coming out until then, and so stay tuned, and uh, don't ask any questions, and everything will be fine. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. I think that's it. We've been around everyone now. We really have. Um, so I just I want to say uh, thank you uh, to Holly, who, uh, who popped in early on. Uh, and uh, of course, Tricky Bricks and Richard as well. It was great to see him. Uh, it's normally the other way around with Richard. He comes in at the end, uh, at the tail end, or something like that. But anyway, it's lovely to see him. Um, and I just want to say thank you to the panel. Uh, what a wonderful panel I've had tonight, folks. Um, it's uh, it, it, it's been intriguing. I never knew. I never knew until tonight. I always thought Matt was the one and only artist on the panel. Uh, but little did I know that he's got a little bit of competition in the form of tech. Um, because it seems that tech is uh, is rather good with a pen. He, he's very, how can I put it? It's he, amazing very, what these hands can do, Greg. This, this is true, mate. This is true. I've seen that. I've seen that for myself, folks. I really have. You've never seen anyone like it at a pad wall in all your life. <laughs> new bed. And uh, <laughs> but all I say is, is that uh, Matt, <clears throat> when it comes to caricatures. All right, I think you might have some competition. Uh, but I'm just going to say that um, uh, titanium. It's been wonderful seeing you on here, mate. Blimey, I've not seen you for ages. Um, I'm, I'm glad you're safe and well because, let's face it, college has been quite quite difficult, really, in, in, in times of lockdown and COVID and all that. So, uh, good to see you. Uh, as always, it's like you we do. never don't see each other, really, do we? Really, it's lovely. We're like we're our little brothers, we are, folks. Um, are. So, you know, lovely to see you. Uh, thank you for being here, mate, because I do appreciate it because you've been stuck in traffic uh, in a car park for hours on end. So, thank you for that. Family Bricks, aka Matt Elder, thank you for all your artistic endeavors, mate. You are an awesome artist, you really are. And uh, Tech, uh, thank you as always for entertaining, mate. You are the dog's danglies in every we will, we will, um We will bring it back like full circle. We started off uh, with the, this, I mean, serious -ish topic of the, the new Lego set. Do go check out Brixine's video, please, 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 because it yeah, is. Yeah, check it out. Is such a good so video. Good. Like, share it across your social media feeds. Like, it is a really, really good, well put together video. It's only like three and a half minutes. It's not it's not an epic, um, but it's really entertaining. And yeah, just like share it around your socials. Um, yeah. Hit really the like button and uh, leave a comment. 
yeah, nice yeah. please do folks please do um if you if you've just joined in the stream or just jumped in please do leave us a little thumbs up it really helps us do what we do um Menarch says greg 69 what did you expect amazing stream it was and i should have done uh, uh, and kevin was in earlier on as well okay i'm bored toys do check out their channels folks all their details are down in the description below he said to me he says greg you really shouldn't do number 69 you should just go straight to 70. but i think it would be remiss of me if i didn't and he would lose a little bit of entertainment value as well because it especially from this one here uh, he, I think he's outdone himself. He is. He really has. Um, anyway, um, enough about that. I, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been in the stream tonight, folks, from Nicoletta to Delicious Foods to Captain Zane to Ricky T.Y., uh, Christian M., Jarf Bricks, Mr. Blue, and uh, Red Carnage, to name but a few. So just remember, folks, keep your hands clean. Keep wearing the masks. Uh, be kind to yourself, be kind to each other, folks. Be forgiving. That's all I can say, especially on the day like today. Do check out um, uh, Richard from over at Brick Scenes video and tr check out Tricky Bricks as well, folks. It's all important stuff. We're all part of a community. We have our good days, we have our bad days, but overall, we're nice, colorful beings. We really are, folks. And on that note, Lego, Lego, and Lego <laughs> is a wonderful thing. And each and every one of you are awesome people. Be good, and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.